Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another session of Cauldron of Dice. It is nice to meet you. Before we roll into tonight's episode, a couple of things. First and foremost, our sponsor. But before we even get to our sponsor, Peter is going to inspire the party because a lot of shit is going to happen tonight. So, Peter, give your inspiration to the party. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm already regretting this. Going, I see this every day. I this married this. I married this. I wish okay. I could say this wasn't a normal. Can you come with me off the table? What the fuck? He's dead. Peter's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that almost deserves D20 inspiration. Uh, no. <laughs> um, Everyone take your inspiration. <laughs> He's going to kill. Okay. We said it we said a what a D ten? D ten. So um She's going to kill him. She's going to kill. Him. Uh for people listening to the podcast, he just <laughs> reenacted Hulk Hogan and ripping a shirt off and knocked the Oh yeah, he knocked the planet off the wall. Whoops. Whoopsies. Oh, Whoopsies. oh he ripped it out of can we grip the hook the out little, of this? The little stinker. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> oh boy. He oh looks boy. thoroughly. He knows proud he's dead. Himself. He knows he's dead. Yep. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Peter, as you saw, Peter knocked over the uh, plant and had to clean up his mess. So, uh, a legend. back a legend. to what we were doing. Before, before we begin. Adrian is working, so Anna will be playing as Al during this entire battle, this entire session, or until she gets on. Uh, Ashley is, again, with the newborn, so Chris will be playing as Drinma and Mal. Mm. So Double dipping. Double dipping. And a word from our lovely sponsor, Dice Envy. For the Dice in you. you. So, uh, Dice Envy, ha their <laughs> featured dice right now are the Spin Down T D20s. They are chunky metal D20s. They are $20. They come in either the Swamp Black, Forest Green, Mountain Red, the Plains White, or the Island Blue. They are very They pretty. are very chunky. Um, use and our promo good. code CAULDRON in all caps to get 10% off your first purchase. Thank you, Dice Envy. We love you, and thank you for dealing with our shenanigans. And I really mean that because the shenanigans that just happened really made it fun. <laughs> Gotta crank it up, man. Crank I it just up. want to say a shout out to Costco Taquitos. Oh. Costco Taquitos? Eaten, like, okay. no. Costco Taquitos. <laughs> All right, so without a, that out of the way, we are ready to roll into tonight's episode. So let us begin. Everybody roll initiative. Wonder. So where we last left off, uh, Rayless Helps had disembarked from Drinma's airship, meeting up with Cal and Callan, two members of the Throne Holders, a group in Thrain that is trying to Peter. put uh, Queen Diani back on the throne and get rid of the theocracy. Um, Cal had explained to Drinma and the rest of the group that they are looking, they have information of Cardinal, the Cardinals doing dark deals and abusing their power and their position. And they feel if they were to try to pull through with bloodshed, that their that the legitimacy of Queen Diani would not hold with the citizens of Thrain. So they looked at Dreamma and told her to go to the meeting between the Council of Cardinals, Lady Jayla, Queen Diani, and a 
older dwarf named Mallory and a human male that is known as Staren de Kenneth that was thought to have died during the day of mourning. Uh, Rayless helps proceed to rest for the night, prepare their spells, and then make their way to the Cathedral of Flamekeep, where they, at first by the guards of the front doors, denied them, but the doors opened and said they were to be, they were expected. During this meeting, and them trying to stall to get the, to give the throne holders time to find the evidence and that they're looking for to present to Lady Jayla, they had learned that Mallory and Starin are are building a Dreadnought class airship for Thrain and the council known, and they called it the Flame's Judgment. As the party, as the party was trying to keep stalling, they also had come to learn that High Cardinal Crozen had ordered genocide upon a town in Thrain of Olaf that had been infected by the lycanthropy plague. You gotta say it real cool, like lycanthropy. Lycanthropy, yeah. And instead of, there was an alchemist that thought they could find a cure, but the council did not want to wait or risk more infections and more spraying of this plague, so they purged the town and all of its residents. Lady Jayla did not like this, but she had told Drinma and the rest of Rayla's helps that she does lose sleep over it, but when it comes to the safety of her country and her citizens, that that was the call that had to be made. As this meeting is coming to a close, um, Mallory looks, Mallory and Stern look at each other and say it's time and you hear a, a lot of banging sounds outside and rumbling to where you're almost losing your footing. And as you said, Chris, the very bad acting of losing your footing. And one of the guards protecting the main entrance to the cathedral bursts in and informs all of you that Thrain is under attack. And as he says this, eight Karnathi undead soldiers and five Warford soldiers rush in. Mm-hmm. Rayless helps, I need you to roll initiative. Yeah! Good way to start an episode. Okay. I like to feel the clickety clacks. The clickety clacks. All right. 25 to 20. 27. 27. God, oh God. God. Holy shit. I'm not kidding. I- yeah, you have a plus eight. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 19. Wow. Holy no, wait, I don't want to be first. Oh my god. Um, you want to be first. 19 to 15. 19. 19. 15. Kavir, you said 15? 15. Initiative bonus? You're tied with Drinma right now. No, he's tied with me. Or, sorry, you're tied with Vashara. You said three? Trace Amigo. Trace Amigo, so you're going, f- you beat Vashara on the tie. Uh, Malachi, what she, uh, or 14 to 10. Ooh, actually, you know what? She has a 21, my bad. She has a 21. I rolled okay. I rolled two dice, but I forgot I'm at advantage, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drinma has a 21. Uh, no, Malachi has a 21. Malachi has a Trim has a 19. Okay, and I will roll for L. 18. Okay, good good rolls, good rolls. Yeah, okay. Right, solid. So, starting, top of the round, Cat Benatar. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see this battle map. Oh, what the fuck? Your D4s are the Warforged Soldiers. D6 are the Karnath Undead Karnathi Soldiers. Cat Benatar, you are right here up in front. No. Or, that's Mal. That's Mal. Sorry. That's You're in the back. Right in the middle in the back. I'm where? Right there. Go back. That, oh, that's me. Okay. That's back, you. That's back in the middle. Dice for a minute. Um, okay. Well. Slice and dice. 
I guess. Yeah, what's what's the uh hmm. So like <laughs> I haven't been around in a hot minute. What are the the who is who is who? Your D fours? The 5d4s are the Warforged soldiers, and the 8d6s are Carnathi Undead. Really undead. Alright. I'm gonna do a sneak attack on... I guess one of the undead. Uh... I mean, you're gonna have to go around, so... 5, 10, 15, 20... You can go there. And throw there. They are kind of unfortunately bundled together. Yep. I'm gonna throw blink dagger at the number five red. Number five. Okay. Make your attack roll. Are you fucking kidding me? Kidding what did she me? just roll? A natural fucking 20. <laughs> I got a 27. That will hit. Wow. <laughs> With sneak attack and crit. Yeah. All right, so. Um, this guy's dead. Fuck. Uh, can we just go in to say this guy's dead? Because he ain't going to survive some damage. It's a sneak attack. Can we count out my damage? No, no, it's 3d6, yeah. that's 18. Plus her... Plus the blank dagger. 2d6? Well, right. So it's 3d6 for a blank dagger, so... Or, or, or 3d4 no. for a blank dagger, so we're already at um, 12. Plus 4, we're at 16. Plus her, what? It, it's, Sneak attack. Is it 2 or 3d6? Three three. Three. It's 3d6, three 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 it's 18. So 3 now, so 18. So 18 plus 16. 34. So 34 damage, and then her actual damage here on top of all that. Yeah. yeah. So we're already here at 34. Does 34 actually kill it, or do we need more? No. All right, so we need more damage. All right. You need so. more damage. Cool. Wow. Okay. Um, so well, it occurs. Um, seven plus, um, or you say plus one. So we have eight. Um, Eight plus three D six. Eight plus twelve was twenty plus four. We have a total of uh, twenty four on top of thirty six. We have sixty damage. Okay. And that is the initial attack. She still also has a bonus action. So since it's a critical hit, undo undead four two does not activate. He is dead. Woo! So you throw your blink dagger, um, so throws it right into, right into the temple of his skull, and you just see him collapse, and all his armor and bones fall down. So he's you gone. You guys have missed me, haven't you? Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Okay, so do I have a bonus action? Yep. I'm just going to put them in yeah. the yeah. bag as they fall. Or you can um, throw an air attack. Mm. Do I, does, do, don't, don't you also have a, an, another attack now? I think you're level five. No, rogues. She's oh, still rogues only. Only, she only gets one. Okay. Oh, no, gosh. rogues. Are, rogues only get a, a, just a single attack. They, they never get multi attack. Thank God. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, Why you say thank God? I might. Be oh my the God. Sneak attack is the most. Uh, you, you had me your bat with sneak attack. Good. Can she throw the blink towers? Now you move her class into fighter. That's a good point. Why you giving me ideas, bro? <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Come on, there's a lot of shit to do tonight. All right. Uh... Uh, Mal is on deck, by the way. Yep, Chris. Yep, 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 yep. Short sword. You want to be able to attack again? Throw the other point down. All right. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm willing to die for the cause. There All right, I'm gonna throw my other blink dagger. You're throwing your other blink dagger? Yeah. 
Okay. Would this attack also be at advantage as well because she also has the uh, on the initiative? She has the assassinate ability, yes, but she's already used sneak attack. Sneak attack's gone because okay. you're going to use it one time. Correct. So she yes, still have assassinate. Time. So you can attack any one of them. I'm going to do the one. The one. This guy. Okay. Yes, sir. Make your attack roll, please. At advantage. So use this one right here. At advantage. The first one is number four, and the second one. Okay. So eleven total after your modifiers. And 17 plus 7, so 24 to hit. 24 will hit. And because it is assassinated, it's an automatic critical hit. Yep. Um, so we are already at uh, 16 damage so far. Yep. And go ahead and roll your 3d6. Or, I'm sorry, your 3d4. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, assassinate rogues. Um, right? Wow. So five I'm plus really getting four. the full so, feel for them. So it's 1d4. Nine. It's 3d4 for your blank daggers, buddy. Yes, because, oh, 1d4 and then 3d4 of psychic damage. Yes, sorry, sorry. 2d4 uh, uh, psychic, but yes. Yeah, it's um, total 3d4. Go ahead. Yes, so she has a total of 9 on top of 16, making it 25. 25, okay. So you throw the other blank dagger... It hits that Karnathi undead soldier in the shoulder. Does do some damage, still standing and looking a little hurt, but all right. Uh, any movement you want to do? Uh, no. Okay. Nope. Okay. That ends your turn. It is Mal's turn. Okay, Mal's gonna Ow. Mal's gonna run up to the guy that uh, she hit. That, okay. That, that cat hit. So five feet of movement. Yep. And quick question: Are they carrying any type of like weapons, or what? What do these undead guys look like? Do they just? Uh, the Karnathi undead soldiers are carrying a longsword, mm-hmm. and then they have a longbow on their backs. Okay. Cool. Um. So she's gonna take a swing at one. Okay. That guy. Okay. That. Ooh, boy, that's pretty high. Uh, twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five will hit. Okay. She is gonna also do a disarming strike on this guy. Okay. So she's going to use a superiority die. He needs to make a DC 15 save. DC 15. Uh, what's of what? Strength? Strength. Yep. All right. Some battle master moves. Mm. Uh, 11. 11. So he drops his longsword. Okay. And he is going to get hit with uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. That's her first attack. Yep. And then she is going to, yeah, she's going to swing at this guy again. Yeah. Swing again. Okay. 25 again. 25 will hit. Damn. Yes. Definitely. Yes, girl. Oh, yeah, girl. Uh, girl. Eight, eight points of slashing damage on that, too. Girl, I mean, girl. Girl, girl, girl. So you see Mal take out her, uh, what swords was she? She's using her two short, short, short swords. Short swords. Yep. Okay, so you see her take her two short swords, takes the first slash down at its um, right arm holding the sword, hits him, slashes his arm, drops the sword, and then with the other sword, slashes up, looking really hurt. Cool. Um, so that was, uh, does she want to use any more movement nope. or? Nope, she's okay. going she to stay right in the fray there. Stay right there. Drinma, you are up. Awesome. Drinma would like to rage. All right. Rage. You're about 10 feet from the Warforge. I, I was going to say, put me right where the... Here's you. Yeah, right, put me right in the middle. Like, where the one, okay. the first D6 in that part. Yeah, right there. So, five, 10 feet of movement. All right. Um, she's going to go for that uh, Karnathi Undead one. Okay. Number one. So, numero uno. Number one. Uh, 18 to hit. Hit uh, 18 will hit. Perfect. That's 10 plus that. Okay, so he's going to take uh, 11 slashing damage and then is going to take uh, 2 radiant damage from Divine Fury. Yes. Or excuse me, 4 damage. 4 damage? Yep, of Divine Fury. Divine Fury, okay. Okay. 
and she's gonna follow up with a uh, with an extra attack on that same one. Same one. Okay. Yep. Make your attack roll. Okay. Fuck, dude. Wow. Twenty-two. Twenty-two hits. Man, that, that, odd for me for sure. Uh, and that's gonna be three, six, nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Oops. All right. So you take your great sword slash down come right across the chest, does some damage to his half plate armor, still standing, and then you slash back up the other way. Looking a little hurt, still good though. Okay. Guess Again, it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to tell since they are undead. Yeah. <sighs> All right, it is the war forged soldier's turns. After the, those, it is Al on deck. All right, so the first war forged. Let me get this up. Um, it is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet of movement and make an attack towards Al with multi-attack. I'll, na- I'll nativeth, not Mal, right? Al. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. Slip of the tongue. The dragon. Ah. Oh, dear. Okay. That's one. Okay. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing okay? Uh huh. Yeah. He's yeah. doing a lot of math. Live and breathing okay. for now. <laughs> for now. For now. For now. Okay, um, so the Warforge walks up to Al with its arm blade, slashes across Al's chest, and then stabs him for a critical hit right in his chest. Two that is his turn. Uh, it is the next Warforge's turn. How oh, keys. This Warforge, so uh, you guys can see the movement, um, is going to use 10 feet of movement and come to you, Drinma. Hell yeah. Make two attacks okay. with its arm blade. Come to me, daddy. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That, that will definitely hit. Okay. Dog was feeling the pain. <laughs> You take mm-hmm. So the uh war the warforged comes up to you, first attack, slashes at your leg, and then as it as it slashes your legs, follows up and hits you on the chest, you take nine points of slashing damage, reduced to half to four. That's that Warforge's turn. It's now the next Warforge. Uh, the one standing right in front of you. Yep. That's going to make a multi-attack against you. Come on, bring it, you bitches. <laughs> um, the one, the first strike kind of misses you from the, the, the pain and reeling back from that first strike, but the second strike connects. You take three points of slashing damage. That's already reduced. Cool. I'm sorry, two. Two. Those. Five, so reduced to half is two. Those are keys. That is that Warforged's turn. It is the next one. Downside to five Warforged. Uh, this Warforged is going to use five, 10, 15, 20, 20. 25, oh, no. 30 feet of movement. Attack Al. Poor Al. Oh, fuck. Al. Um, I gotta double check. Yeah, okay, so both hit. We see the battle map as you're doing this? Here, yeah. Al is here. Warforged, 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 Warforged. Oh, boy. Uh, um, 
I'm bad. Al's in trouble. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Guys are just hacking through people. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, so wow. the Warforged walks up to behind Al. Al, still reeling from the damage from the first Warforged attack, comes up, slashes, and stabs. Al is down. <gasps> Al is already unconscious. Holy Al shit. is unconscious. Uh oh. How terrible is it to be when you're not even playing? Uh -oh. um, it's the last Warforged's turn. It's going to use its action to draw its javelin. Take, sorry guys, mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15, 20 feet of movement and move there. Since it used its action to draw its javelin, it can't really attack, but that is its turn. Al is up. Um, you need to make a death saving throw, please. Oh boy. Oh Jesus boy. Christ. Oh boy. Al, no. But that's Alan's dog. I know. Failure. Failure. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, that is Al's turn. Kavir, you are up. Vajar, uh, Vashar, you are on deck. All right. All right. So, show me that battle map. Gladly. Kavir, you're front and center right behind You're Drenma. right behind Drenma. Hell yeah. Hell no, I'm not. Um... Okay, so we have Fuck a... No. Wait, where's my character? Behind Kavir. All right, so the who is that percentile dice off there to the back left? This one? Yes. That is Alistair. Alistair, fuck him. Um, all right, and uh, turn the camera a little bit more in the opposite direction. Okay, so we have two other Warforge over there. Um, yeah, wait, wait, so I'm... All of the Warforged are the D4s. So I'm front and center. This is you, Malrig and Stop. You were in the back. You were in the back facing, but since they came in through the main gate, you got turned front and center. Point to me. That's you. All right. Turn at the undead. He's like, it's getting a little hot and heated right here. Or forged. Alrighty, mm. so. If I try to be able to move um, uh, behind uh, Cat Benatar, that would be considered as a uh, um, difficult as terrain because you gotta go over Al. Yes, yes, as I, I, uh, it's on terrain. Correct. Yes. All right. Let me do that. Difficult terrain and move over. Um, them to be right behind Cat Benatar. Fucking pussy ass move, bitch. I am a spellcaster. I Get it because you're a cat. So, okay, <laughs> you need. So, get him, kitty. I need you to explain your exact route because if you're going over Al, you're going to no, take an attack no. of opportunity. From no, two no, more no, 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 I would never try to go step over top of another dead body. I'm just going to basically just like grab a um, cat, pull her right here in front of me, and switch spots Can I say as no? I am. Um, in the process of doing this here, I am uh, holding out a hand um, as I'm also muttering um, a hex. I'm not okay, and I do not consent to this touching. I am, um, I am muttering a hex on the uh, uh, um, on the first Carnathi undead, uh, the, uh, uh, the number one. The number one? Yes, sir. The one Cat. that Mal and Cat attacked? Yes. Yes, the one okay. that has already been damaged. Okay. And... As a free action, may I be able to pull out Rayless from my portal? Yeah. Oh, awesome. So he is also still a, um, he is still also now a Raven. Okay. okay. So I'm going to send him over to cause to, now because uh, because Rayless has his own, um, um, has action his own, economy um, initiative. Yes. Um, I'm gonna send him right in front of the number one and try to be able to start pecking at him to be able to get the help action. Okay. All right, so he's trying to turn it over to them, distract him, and I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, at advantage. That motherfucker. Yes, they're at advantage. What what attack and, are you doing? What, atta what attack? Hold on, hold on. Actually, hold on. First, I should say. Hold on. First, I should say hex. I'm casting at a first level spell. 
Okay. That was my pack magic. Okay. Mm. So, using a first level spell slot. I'm going to cast Hex. And now Elder's Blast. Elders. Uh, disadvantage on what? Blast. Um, Let's say Wisdom. Wisdom, okay. First one is a dirty 20 to hit. Oof. Yep, right. that hits. And second one is a five to hit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Dirty 20 hits. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, first, uh, uh, so the first beam is going to be a D10. Um, so we have a total of eight plus a D6. That is going to equal out to a total of uh, 13 damage. Cap. That one to be able to take. Is that one still standing? Um, I have. So you knocked him, but undead resilience kicks in. You did 13 damage. Dead. Fails. Right. Fails Not to save. Right back up. Awesome. Lovely. Wait. One. I cannot be able to move hex on anyone else. So let me see uh, the next. Um. The one in front of Drinma is damaged as well. Yeah, the, the... You know what? Let's pull that. Uh, uh, actually, let's pull uh, the one there to the right. Uh, uh, so, so, so that red number four. The D four. The, the war 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 forged. I'm war yes. Forged. I'm gonna do elder. I, actually, I'm gonna do um um invoke my invocation of uh, grasp of Hadar. Okay. And I'm Hell going yeah. to Hell make yeah. my attack on that one. That one is just normal attack. And that one. Um, is going to be uh, a total of 12 to hit. 12 does not hit. Damn. Hmm. Okay, well, I tried for that one. That's all you could do is try. So uh, anything else? That. Um. So, I'm going to try and be able to stick a little bit closer here to everyone, and I also need to make a d20 roll as well here for you, buddy. I, I need to make a d20 roll? No, I need to make a d20 roll. I had a number 12 because I used uh, uh, my slot magic instead of my pack. Mm. But yes. <coughs> yes. I rolled a 12. You're good. Yes, I should be good for now, but the one should now increase here to two. Yes, it bumps up. You're good. Another one. You DJ Cal. All right, that is Kavir's turn, Vashara. All right, bonus your turn. action. Uh, I am going to use Healing Word on Al. Okay, Healing Word on Al. And with Circle of Mortality, I can... It's automatic. Yep, full eight hit points. Nice. Healer of the group. All right. So Thank Al you. is healed. So you watch as... Uh, Vishara speaks words and what looks like tiny yellow lights float towards Al's body and cover the wounds, healing him for eight hit points. He's good. Still prone, but he's no longer dying. Uh, that's your bonus action. We're, we're forged there. Um, and then as my action, I am going to use my channel divinity Turn undead. Okay. Hey! <laughs> As an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer, censuring the undead. Each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw with a DC of 15. Oof. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turned creature must spend its turns trying to move as far away from you as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of me. It also can't take reactions. For its action, it can only use the dash action or try to escape from an effect that prevents it from moving. If there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge. What's the CR rating? 15. It doesn't have one. Oh. It doesn't have one. DC was 15. Just turn undead. But if it's half or lower, which I don't think these oh, are. Oh, no, these, that's why I was asking, what's the that DC? That would be destroy undead. Yeah, no. Okay, so I need to make 
One, two, three, four, five, six wisdom saving throws. You know, you can always just put a thousand d20s on the screen. Yeah, I could do yeah. that. <laughs> uh, spoilers, it'll crash. Wisdoms? Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Why not? Okay, so three have failed, three succeed. Okay, okay. That's fine. Yeah, That's yeah. Three less. Yeah. So the, I'll show you which three had these three. So green, purple, red have succeeded. These three are going to, they have to use their movement. They to, have to use their movement to dash as and far can, away from me as possible. And cannot take reactions. Exactly. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, that was my action. That was my bonus action. It's a pretty sexy no, turn, got by his the way. Uh huh. And I got Alistair right behind me. Mm hmm. He might not do anything. I don't trust Alistair. I don't trust him to come up behind me and stab me in the back. Mm -hmm. That's probably how he got into the sticky situation. So Vishara is going to move 10. 15. Okay. That is your turn. It is the undead soldier's turn. So, so the... That, that this one that was not affected is going to make its attacks at you, Drenma. Okay. Uh, Multi-attack. Bring it. Three. So, by the way, Hannah digging the hair. It's like the I ocean. I want to dye it a different color. It's like the ocean. Why? Oh. I said thank you. Okay. So color. you watch as the Carnathi Undead Soldier. Mm -hmm. Its first attack um, slashes you right across the chest, mm -hmm. dealing critical damage. Mm -hmm. The second one slashes, the second attack hits, slashing you across your right leg. And then the third, as you like stumble, goes for your right arm. You take a total of. 32 points of slashing damage reduced to half. Uh, did, 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 did. Can't math. Hold on. 16. 16 points of slashing damage. And none of these are necrotic or anything. It's just purely slashing damage, right? Just pure slashing damage. Alrighty. That, uh, he is not going to use any movement, so that is his turn. Boop, boop. All right, uh, this one. I'm now within 30 feet of all of them. Yeah, so they have to... They have to get out of the 30-foot range and try to get as far away from me as possible. So... 5, 10, no, no. That's difficult terrain because it's pushing through one of them, so... 10, 20... Instead of no movement was available, I take the dodge. Okay, they're then they're taking dodge because there's really no movement available. Is the door closed right. behind them, or are they like stuck in this room with us there, but this one is stuck because he's he can't move up. he can't move closer to me and he, and can't, he can't move back because there's he's blocked behind him yeah so. you're stuck in here with us <laughs> two men enter no it's man leaves dodge. attacks on disadvantage yes dodge is disadvantage um this one which all succeeded is going to see that it's got you, Drinma. Mm -hmm. Is going to go five. Turn the, turn sorry. The <laughs> Ten. Is it going for cat? It's going <gasps> for Ma it's going for Mal. Okay. Mal's pretty uh, beefy right now. I don't know. Yeah, multi attack. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, dear God, the blood dice are hot tonight. Question. question. Uh, yes. Can you please tell me what the total for some, what the totals would be for that? Because she can take a reaction. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. One's a natural 20, so that that's a crit. That one's hitting. The second attack is a 16. That'll miss. And then the third one is an 8. And that'll miss too. Okay. What's so, since since we're on the conversation, so she can parry. Yes. So can are we are we saying if it's a critical hit, there's no way she can parry that? No, because it's okay. it's a critical hit. It's like it's like. Isn't she wearing adamantium? Yes. Oh she shit, is. she is. So she's immune to she, critical. Hits. I'm terribly sorry. She is immune to critical hits. <laughs> right. So it's just a normal attack. It's still a crit, but she, since your armor it negates right, right, the crit, right, right, but right, right, right. She, she's still gonna take damage. She's still gonna take damage. Okay. All right. Thanks for sure. Um, Thank you, Vishara. Good job. <laughs> I thought it felt a lot. I thought it felt a lot worse, but it really wasn't. Eight points of slashing damage. Did you, uh, it, did you take into account the adamantine for Al as well? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How does Al, Al even have adamantine? I don't even know if Al has adamantine. You did crit Al too. Yes, and I took account into it because I was looking at it. It's, okay. Yeah. Al got fucked up. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's his turn. This one runs out the door off the map. Bye bye. Two, so and he's for out. a whole minute. Yep. Uh, this one it runs out. It turns and then it goes. What was I turns running? And runs. He's off. Uh, this one, 30 feet of movement, off the runs out the cathedral. He is gone. We're down to three Carnathy. <laughs> okay. Nice Carnathy. It is Alistair's turn. Alistair has drawn his sword. And he's going to help oh. us, right? Thank God I moved. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... 30. Going for Drinma. Looks at you, Drinma. Mm -hmm. A few's not done, love. Let's protect our home, though. Uh, it's going to attack the undead soldier that attacked Mal with his multi attack. Okay. Yay. Some help here. Okay, that's bad. Fight, fight, fight. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Uh, he's pumping a divine smite into his first attack. As one does. As, As one, one does, does, because it's undead. Yeah, I mean, hey. No. I, stop. Who's your daddy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So you watch as he uh, swings down with his sword, and as it connects with the uh, undead soldier, you see a flash of Divine Smite. Second one hits again. That one's looking pretty fucked up. That is Alistair's turn. Top of the round, Cat Penitar. <laughs> you got you got a uh, Carnathy right here. Has he that... been not attacked yet? It has not attacked you, it just attacked Mal. And it's focused on Mal, so would that technically kind of sneak attack? Yes. There you go. That would be sneak gonna, attack. I'm gonna backflip, sneak attack, green dice, <laughs> and I'm gonna use my... Uh, Make an athletics check if you're trying to backflip. I was gonna say, it's literally right in front of Can you. Can add extra damage if that's the case? What about uh if she jumps up and tries to be able to like do like a backflip? I mean you already have advantage because you have Right. It's Wouldn't it be funny? acrobatics though? Acrobatics, yeah. Okay. But again, you already have advantage because it's assassinate. It's a top of the cool. round. But I wanna do it. <laughs> then make an acrobatic <laughs> Then make an acrobatics cool. check. Okay, with my acrobatics check it's a twenty three. <laughs> you're you're good. She gets a fucking plus nine to acrobatics. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. She's pretty much always good. 
Um, I want to stab it with my uh, short sword of light stealing. Okay. Mm. You realize it's undead. Double life <laughs> steal stealing. Its de- steal its undead life. Does it work on undead? That's an 18. 18? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Is it at advantage or just... It's advantage, it's advantage because... It's advantage and sneak attack. It's advantage because, again, it's the top of the round. So assassinate takes in. I thought assassinate only kicks in for things that have not taken the attack action yet. Not just attack action. It's the new round because she goes then- first. Yeah. It has an attack this round. Uh, if I'm is it the first like when I read when I read assassinate, if I'm how I read it is hold on. Please. Stand by. You have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that hasn't taken a turn in the combat yet. And since she goes first So the combat is the it, it, it is the entire combat, not just each not round. Not just the round. Yeah. So do I have advantage? Alright. Yeah, so it would no. just be sneak attack. No. Hold on. Have advantage of the increase that hasn't taken a turn in the combat yet. Okay, so combat. I misread it. It's, not the combat it's round. just overall yeah, combat. combat. Yeah. So yeah, assassinate. That's that combat round. Combat yeah. round. Yeah, so it's just combat in general. So it would just be sneak attack. It would just be sneak attack. So with the 18 hit. 18 will hit. Alright, so go ahead and do your damage then. Mmm, hit him with that damage. The Ooh, daddy, yeah. daddy damage. Seven, oh, yeah. So seven. That's um, very good. So, no, it's seven your total. Plus three. No, it, it already includes plus three. So we have seven damage here that's happening. And then plus your sneak attack. Ten. Ten total? Yes, so, 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 or 10 for a total sneak attack, and then uh, 7 for the actual attack. So, oh, wow, 17. 17, okay. I was like, wow, three ones? Oof, that's rough. Ugh, that would have sucked. Shit happens. It does. Yeah, yeah shit happens. That's... Like that one time when I, I threw 13 bucks. Yeah. I really wish we had that on camera. Just it was yeah. one natural one after another after <laughs> another after another. Yeah. All right, so you take your short sword of life stealing, slash it across his back. Looks really hurt. It starts Ooh. starting to almost crumble. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. That's your action, bonus action. Mm. Mm. Shallow mm. and pantadanta. Shadow and pedantic, yeah. I mean, just another question about to a. Yeah, I'd like to blink to one of my previous. To one of your blink daggers? Yeah. Um, she took him off the map already, but you got a blink dagger here and a blink dagger here. Whichever one do you have? That. Or. Add a, yeah, add a, whatever. Whichever one will be a The. Um, the one here or right next yeah. to Vachara? That's the one. Yeah. That's the one. <laughs> one or two? That a one. One? Number one or two? Number two. Three? Oh, one number two. All right. Cool. So about the same? you slash about him, same. blink out to your dagger to where that undead, well, now truly dead Karnathi soldier is. Nice. Uh, that is your turn. Nice. Don't kill me. <laughs> I think you're okay. Uh, Mal, you are up. Drinma, you are on deck. Okay. Uh, Mal is going to go right next to, uh, ooh, shit. Okay, so she's right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to the green guy. Okay. Make okay. your attack roll. Make an attack roll. Wow. 23 to hit. 23 will hit. Jesus. She's fucking ridiculous. You guys are rolling hot tonight. Everyone's rolling hot. Uh, that is eight points of slashing damage. Eight points of slashing damage. Okay, Undead Fortitude has officially kicked in. So it's, you did eight. Um, So she slashes it and it starts to fall and rise back up. Okay, could she take another attack at him? She can. Okay, so she's gonna do that. 
do it. Okay, that one was not as great. Twelve. Twelve does not hit. Okay. So she's so as as she hits that first strike and it starts to crumble and the undead fortitude kicks in, he start starts to stand back up and she tries to swing and quickly just like kind of moves its body limply moves its body out of the way. Could she make a bonus action to do an offhand attack with one of those short swords? Yeah, because you get two attack actions, and then she has. Yep. She is. So I just, I just can't add her modifier to it. Yeah, no modifier. Alrighty. That is a natural. Wait, wait, wait. Natural did one. Take, uh, wait, wait. Did she take uh, two weapon fighting as her, uh, um, as her? Um, no, uh, we just, we just did, we just did uh, ability score modifier. No, I mean, um, um, at level one, she gets to be able to shake. Yeah, she has two weapon fighting. Two weapon fighting. Okay, so she does. She, so she actually doesn't be able to add. Yeah, remember yeah, that's next? we oh, when okay. next day. It was so, yeah. it was a natural one. It was still a natural. It was still a natural, one. Still a natural yeah. one, so it okay. failed no matter what. But she did. Oh, it's a kitty cat. Hi, huh, kitty. kitty. All right, uh, that's kitty the kitty end cat. of her turn. Drimma. Yep. Happy birthday. Okay. Uh, Drimma's, I guess, going to attack. Let's see here. She's kind of surrounded in this shit right here. Yeah, you got two war forged oh, and an uh, undead. Hmm. Alistair's kind of focused on the undead. Yeah. Well, he's like focused on this one. Oh. Okay. Um. Shit. Yeah. I guess let's attack that one. The green, green four. You're gonna turn your back. You're gonna turn your back. To gonna the turn your back. Undead and a Carnathy. Uh, the, uh, they'll be fine. Yeah, they'll be yeah, fine. Okay. They'll be fine. You're gonna turn your back because technically you're not going out of melee. Right. With them, right. no attack of opportunity. Right. Make your attack roll. Okay. Uh, seventeen. 17 hits. Okay. Um, because because you get to do radiant damage, mm-hmm. he's gone. Okay. Because he only gets one HP when he does undead fortitude. Okay, perfect. So your radiant damage kills the undead fortitude. Hell yeah. So he's gone. Okay, and then we'll go for that other Karnathi. So she's just going to do a circle. Yeah, she's, she's going to go... <laughs> and, and turn in a circle. Okay. Um, make your attack roll. Okay. That one's not terrible. Uh, 15? 15 does not hit. Okay. And... Are you still raging? Yep. Yeah, because oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. German has been taking damage and attacking. Rage has not ended. Okay, okay it is the Warforge's turn. Oh, dear. Um, the Warforge, that uh, is going to make its multi-attack on Al, and since it is prone, it is at advantage. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Al's probably going to die. You never know. That was totally the face of like when the acid kicks in, by the way. Yeah, right. When you just like, uh, um, the, not a crit. Oh, down. Oh, fuck. Um, war for the second war forge is going to attack. Al, auto crits. That's two fails, right? That's a that's a fail. Yeah. Al's dead because it has multi attack. Al's dead, dead. The first strike is two failures, and then it has multi attack. The second so strike. The second, yep. So Al's gone. I was gotta get Al's over there within a minute. <laughs> Al's gone. Oh my god. Okay, um... There's a bit of fight. Third Warforged soldier. Going for you, Drinma. Multi-attack again. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> what about the dog? Dog dead. Steel Defender's what? still there, but it's now kind of it more... Now it's now in stasis, because oh. it has no order. Al just got yeah. stabbed, right? Huh? Al just got stabbed, right? Just Yeah. So you guys watch as that first Warforge stabs Al, and you kind of hear a gasp, and then goes back down again and twists and retracts the blade. He was only twelve. You just killed a child. <laughs> What's the matter with you? All right, Drinma. You take. Yes. So the um, the first attack against you from the first war forge 
fla- uh, tries to slash at you up again your up against your chest again, misses, but then falls back down, hits you. You take twelve points of slashing damage, reduced to half, so six. Yep. Uh, it is the next Warforged turn. Uh, going to use its multi attack and attack you, Drinma. I wish I had a baby Yoda mask. <laughs> that would protect me. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, the first attack. They go for your other leg, kind of trying to bring you down. I had just shaved, you too. For, slashing you for eight points of slashing damage reduced to half, and as it tries to follow up with its next swing, you kind of fall from that and misses. Oof. Okay, okay. Last Warforge's turn. Oh, man, this is getting dicey. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it has its javelin out. It is going to... What? Throw it at Kavir. Uh-oh. I was like, Kavir's not a monk that can catch it, right? Nah. Nope. Kavir, you're about to get a javelin thrown in your face. Like hell. <laughs> like hell I am. So it throws its javelin, and it pierces you in your shoulder. You kind of, like, get almost blown back from it. You take six points of piercing damage. Ouchies. Okay. That's its turn. Yeah, that's Owl right. is dead. dead. Kavir, you're up. <laughs> Alright, so after taking that hit, I kind of was sitting back there, kind of reeling there for a second. And I look back up. May I see the battle map? Oh, sorry. Alright, I'm going to look over at the one that killed. Um, yeah, 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 the one that yeah, killed Owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. where am I? You were right, right there, there, right next to You're Al. Right next to Al. Yeah. You were right next to his body. <laughs> you watched him die. Yeah. All right. A How painful could you? Death. You yeah. watched a child be murdered in front of you. All right. I'm going to uh, use my bonus action to move um, uh, my hex over to the one that killed him. Okay. That is hex. Uh, what disadvantage at? Strength. Mm. Strength. Okay. Mm. And I am going to j- jump up, and I am going to stand right, kind of almost like trying to be able to uh, stand over an Alice place, but not right on top of his body, kind of like slip my legs if need be. Okay. And I am going to cast um, Arms of Hadar. Okay. And as I cast that, um, um, so as I cast that, um, uh, just writhing tentacles start splitting here out of my body, um, black and just drawing Sexy. in all the light there from the air, <laughs> just, it's making the dark just, the, or it's, it's, it's making, it's making light, like the entire area just darker with present. And they are just battering every single thing there within a 10 foot range, um, specifically targeted here towards the two uh, uh, um, enemies that are right there in front of me. The two four portion, okay. A, Yes, I need them to make strength saving throws, please. And one is at disadvantage, is the other one normal. It's just like one of my animes. <laughs> think that's depressing. Think, think fucking Ben from... Uh, uh, what's the DC? From 15, good sir. 15, okay, so the one at disadvantage failed. The other one succeeds. Okay. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> All right, that's a total of 18 on a 3d6. Wow. (laughs) Nice. Revenge is just. And then half damage for the success, correct? Yes. Holy shit, dude. That was fucking amazing. D&D Beyond knows it's like, all right, he's revenge for Al. Because guess what? Vishar is pissed too. You, you know. That's where he's going uh-huh. with it. That's all he says. Yep, there you know. You know. All right. Anything else? Um. So for that one, um, that one cannot take reactions. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh boy. Um. So that is also done uh, uh, with my pack magic. Um. To be able to give me the three D sex opportunity. 
Um, it cannot take reactions, but the other one can. Yes. Um, as long as it is within five feet of me, and I am um, still jumping out, uh, uh, jumping out of the way, backflipping almost if I can. <laughs> Got. Do you make like, like an acrobatics check for any? I would like you to. Yes. Are you just moving okay. backwards again? Ugh, that's a seven. Seven. Since you're wearing light armor, it's not that hard. You, you, you almost like fuck up the landing. You do the backflip and you're like, ah, okay, we're good. I didn't face plant. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to replicate. I, I think as long as you didn't roll a nat one, you were fine. Yeah, if you roll a nat one, you're landing on Alex's dead body. Um, okay, is that your turn, sir? Give him a kiss. Mm. Um, that should be my turn as long as I'm doing that to be out of range of the other two individuals here in front of me. Yes. And I'm hopefully kind of battering them as best I can. You are. All right. Vishara. <laughs> Vishara's pissed. Okay. He was a child. So the one that succeeded on that strength saving throw. The gold one. Yes. Yep. Vishara gold. is going to cast. You have Mal in your way. Good. Okay. Happy movement. Okay. Mishara is going to cast. Let's see here. Guiding bolt at second level. Because she's really angry. Angry. She's angry. Oh no no no! I know, dude. I can't. It's coming. It's coming. Secret rules going to happen. What? What? The secret rule that we said that might not ever happen is going to happen. Might not ever happen. It's happening. <gasps> oh my god. 22 to hit. 22 hits. So yeah, don't don't tell me anything. Just let it happen and then we'll explain it afterwards. Yeah, no, I know. Okay. Like uh, Pete's like, "Dude, the secret rule." I'm like, "No, I know the secret rule. It just can't happen right now. It's going to happen though." Oh my god. So it's 5d6. Do it. <laughs> Secret tunnel. Secret 25 tunnel. 25 points of damage. Secret Motherfucker's tunnel. dead. <laughs> Through the mountain. No. All right. Bashar is pissed. And bonus action. Does he need to wear another t shirt to rip apart? Like, is that part of the secret rule? No, oh, you, you, no, like this is not fun, guys. I'm, I think I, I'm, I'm like really now. I'm freaking the fuck out. Oh boy. <laughs> bonus actions, bonus actions, bonus actions. Okay. Secret tunnel. Uh. Um, all I have oh, for no. bonus action is you can't cast two spells. Yeah, I know. I have spiritual weapon, but that's yeah, that's spell. two spells. So you're done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, it is undead soldiers. It is going to uh, Jirma going to make an attack at you. Fair enough. With its multi multi attack. I am the tank of the group. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Smoky dokey. Smoky dokey, smoky dokey, smoky dokey. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. I totally was expecting Pete to wear a different shirt. <laughs> math. Real quick maths. Okay. This is a lot of math. So with its three attacks, the first one slashes you across your left leg. You kind of fall. The second attack slashes you on your right leg. And then on its last attack for a critical hit, as you're falling, takes it and just winds up and slashes you up on your chest. <laughs> How many crits am I going to fucking get? God damn. He's using the blood dice. You take 42 points of slashing damage, reduced to half 21. Okay. 
Yep. Blood dice are out, guys. Um, that is its turn. I'm shaking. Uh, the other mm. one. Is going to use its twenty. Um, it's going to use its movement. Cat is not happy that you keep blinking around and killing its comrades. Thirty uh, is going that's to make. 25. That's twenty-five. It's going to make its three attacks against you. Uh, Uncanny God. What? You only get to use you it only on get one. One attack. So I'll let you. So now I have to tell you if it hits or not. So. <laughs> All right, so first one. I did a thing, okay? <laughs> You're going to want to use Uncanny Dodge. You need on to this use one. Uncanny Dodge. That was a crit. Are you kidding? Yeah, oh my uncanny God. God damn, dude. Okay. That was a nat 20. I had a feeling. Okay, so that's the first I, one. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. <laughs> okay. Um, Second one. Let's just give uh, yeah. everyone three attacks. Okay. <laughs> Let's give every single one three attacks. Okay, so with your M. Kenny dodge, so it's a crit, so you're gonna reduce it to half, so. Straight roll? Well, no, I still have to do it no. because it's so. Um... Secret doll. Secret doll. So 17 reduced to half, eight. And then the second is five points of slashing damage. So 13 total. 13 total. Could be worse. <laughs> could, could be, be worse. much worse. So as it yeah. as it like re like puts a lot of its strength into that first attack, you uncanny dodge it, still taking some of the hit, and then it kind of like wa wastes a lot of energy and then hits you a second time and misses the third. That is its turn. That's the only thing I've gained last time. Cat Benatar, top of the round, you're up. Retaliation. Okay. <sighs> Get it. Get it. That's six seconds. You retaliate against it. Where's my death? It's attacking with the guy. So that's six seconds. So Al's been down for six but seconds. Al's been down for we seconds. can still save Al. Maybe. No. Ten rounds. A minute. And then if you guys end up, if you stop in it, if you get out of initiative, then I start counting. With my short sword. Yes. Alrighty. So show us the battle map. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I keep doing that. Here's Kat. All right. Carnathy right in front of her. I'm gonna fuck that thing up with the short sword. Okay. <laughs> Make your attack roll. Fuck it up real good. A 17. 17 hits. Nice. Oh, nice. Right. nice, nice, nice. I'm just used to 27, so this is <laughs> <laughs> Why do you speak like a fucking rogue? For fuck's sake. Okay. Uh, or six. I'm this used so to 27, so this is low. <laughs> It's like Sam when he like in in critical role he'll roll and he goes oh that's terrible that's a fifteen yeah yeah <laughs> like, it's not good it's a, it, it's not good it's a twenty two yeah episode I'm used to twenty man that was <laughs> that was a twenty all right what's your damage six 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 okay then six I'm, I'm gonna use my bonus action to blink dagger it to the other one. To blink to your other dagger? No, I have a blink dagger, don't I? Yeah. You have one. Attack. There's still another one on the ground. Yeah, but I want to attack with the blink. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. oh, you're going to attack with the blink wait. dagger. Hold on, wait, wait. Show us the map. Where's the other blink dagger located at? Right here. Because Anna moved it. I still have it marked. Oh, okay. All right, I guess I'll blink to it. Okay, you're blinking to that. Yeah. And it doesn't invoke an attack of opportunity. No, because you're blinking. Yep. You're so literally awesome. going out of existence. That's so awesome. Uh, you still have your movement. Did you want to do any movement, or are you just going to hold right there? I, I mean, we're all trapped in this spot. Are we all? Okay. We're all are, trapped in this hell. Are we all trapped? I don't know. I feel... I think that's... 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still have Now. Drenma on deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, There's a Carnappy here. Yeah. Um, she is going to go... Uh, I, I, like I'm, not, I'm trying to point to my screen as if you could yeah, see. Yeah, right. She's going to go behind the undead soldier. She's going to kind of do a little loopy loop. Uh, nope. Here? No, the other one. The one that's attacking Drenma. Yeah, so go behind it. So 5, 10, 15. 25. And then so she's, flank it? Yeah, so she's going to take that flank. Okay, so it's a plus one to your attack and damage rolls. Yep, 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 Okay, uh, 18. 18 hits. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, phew, shit. Uh, he said a plus one? Yes. 13 points of slashing damage on that. Okay. That's your first attack. Okay. She's second gonna, attack. She's going for the second. Still plus one. 22. Still. 22 hits. Oh my god, another fucking six. Wow, yeah, uh, 13. 13. So 26 points of damage on her two attacks. So she just, like, literally does the X cross slash across its back. Yeah. Uh, really hurt. Okay. Really, really hurt. Okay, okay. Still have okay. your bonus action. Okay. Um. Offhand attack. Uh. I think what she... Hold on. Action surge. Okay. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> okay. Might as well. You might as well. Go big or go home. Okay. 16. 16. Do, uh, is that with a plus with one? A plus oh, excuse me. 17. 17 hits. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Another fucking six. Holy shit. 13 points of slashing. Another damage. 13 points of damage. Okay. Undead Fortitude kicks in. So you said 13 points of damage? 13. Yep. Make sure. I rolled three sixes in a row. No! Natural one. It's gone. Hey! One Carnathy left. So you, Mal activates Action Surge, and with that last strike with her left hand, just cuts across the torso, and it, it crumbles. Wow. Would she still be able to do a second attack on the Warforged? Or would that no, require another? No, because she did. It's no, yeah, because you did Action Surge. Yeah, that's, what so gonna just, that's what I was going to ask. If you kill that. one in the first one of an extra attack, you can go... Continue yeah. your movement for yeah, another one. Because you have, right here. Yeah, you have two two attacks per action. Okay. Uh, can I take a look at the map again? Yes. Get that action surge. Double attack. Warforged right here. Yeah. Here's Mal. Yeah, so she's going to go for that. Okay. Make your attack roll. God, the only thing better would be like a monk fighter multi class <laughs> that can do flurry of blows and attack. And action okay, throw surge. Throw an action surge while you're at Okay. That's, uh, that's another 17. Psst. 17 hits. All right. All right. That one was not as hot. Eight. Eight points of slashing damage. Eight points of slashing damage. All right. Is that Mal's turn? Uh, yes. That is her movement. That is her action. Bonus action. Bonus action. Action, action surge. surge has been used. Yeah. Turn my. That was pretty fucking sexy. It's your turn. Yeah, um, two forged right next to you. Yeah, I know. Uh, Shit, almost dropped the camera. Sorry, guys. That wouldn't have been good. Um, question. Do we say potions are an action or a bonus action? Did we clarify that? Potions are actions. Okay. So, fair enough. So, Drinma is going to disengage. And she's going to just go, like, away from those two. Towards... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But more behind Vishara, if we could. Yeah, that so sounds... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You have 40? Yep, 40. okay, that's yep. 40. Yep. And... As a free action to go, ah, I'm really hurting. To me, I'm yeah. assuming. Hey, okay. Hey, listen, no trouble. Kind of hurting real bad. Okay. <laughs> Just know that... I think out of all those multi-attacks, I might have missed, like, two. <laughs> <laughs> How many uh, so that's your turn, Grinma? Yeah. But reckless. <laughs> and great weapon master. All right. It is the Warforged Church. But um, it wasn't so surrounded. It was going to happen. <laughs> Kavir. Hey, hey, Brian, real quick. Question. Yes. For clarification here for the future. Yes. In 3.5, drinking a potion in the middle of combat. And 
You're cutting out. You're cutting out. He said invoked an attack of opportunity. Yes, in 3.5, drinking a potion in the middle of combat invokes an attack of opportunity. Yeah. yeah. It, um, in 5B, where he plans. If you have an, if, if, if you have, like, if you're surrounded, then yes, they're not going to let you heal. That's like if the enemy, like, and that's the same for the enemies. If they're pulling out a potion to heal, they're literally stopping what they're doing. I think. Yeah, they're not yeah. going to look at you and go. Oh, are you oh, hurt? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no. So, yes, uh, well, for that clarification, if you're engaged and you're trying to pop a potion in front of the enemy, they are allowed to attack you. They can, But that will be their reaction, just and vice versa. You guys can use your reaction to attack. Of course, yes, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, so, yes, are yeah, we'll go with that. Cool. That's why I was going to disengage and get yes. the hell out of Smart. there. smart. Yeah. Okay, it is Warforce's turn. Uh, Kavir, quick question about Hands of Hadar. Does it affect his movement at all? He's starting his turn. Stand by, let me go double check. Yeah, I just need to double check because he's about to start moving. All right. So I would have um, thought with me forward. having more health points, I'd feel pretty good. I do not feel pretty good at all right now. <laughs> Even taking half damage, I would have been dead like four times over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be curious. I, I can't wait to listen to this and just go, how many times did I actually get hit? And it's gonna be like there's two, there's three, there's two, there's three, there's no, two. No, no, um uh his speed is not um suffered in any way. Okay. Same. He was just just splattered with tentacles that are that that are writhing here like out of my body. Cool. Alright, okay. so um yes. ten feet of movement, he's going or 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to walk around Alistair's dead body facing you. Attack. Al. Al. Or Al. They're Sorry. All Al. They're all Al. Yeah, they're all Al. Um, walk around Al, face you, multi attack you. Two attacks with its arm blade. Okay. Wow. That's weird. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. That was via. Um, so the first attack slashes you across your uh, lower abdomen as you bend down. It goes up and hits you in the left shoulder. You take 11 points of slashing damage. Oh, jeez. That is its Ooh. turn. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I said 11, I did the math wrong. It's eight, 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 sorry. That's better. Yeah, eight, eight. damage, okay. Eight damage, uh, so that is its turn. Oh boy. Mal is... Uh, Warforged two and three are going to go for Mal. So... I'm not worried about Mal. I think, okay. she's, I think she's okay. Yeah, Ace just, just, just I was gonna say, just make sure you tell me what. Uh, nineteen to hit and a nine to hit. Okay, she'll oh, she'll take the one hit. Yeah, she'll take the one hit. Yep. All right, hit. Whatever. That works. Okay. Um, seven points of slashing damage. Very good. Uh, second, Warforge is going to attack. Natural, <laughs> natural one and an eleven, so neither will hit. Wow! So Mal takes that first, dodges the second one, and then the other Warforge slashes, and she kind of deflects with her so uh, two swords. It's so hot! It's like she's uh, a rock. Last Warforged is going to uh, untrack its arm blade Beeper. and go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, flank Mal. Two attacks. Uh, seventeen and a twenty-four. She's gonna def. Wait, hold on. What's her? Oh god, what's her superiority, guys? It is. She's got an eighteen. So the seventeen won't hit. The twenty-four can. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna try to parry that that one. That so that's a four. plus five to her AC. No, she gets a roll as superiority die. Oh yeah, and then. Okay, so it's a. 
D8. Where's my eights? Where's my Ochos? ESPN the Ocho. There we go. The Ocho. Uh, that is a... So it's a superiority die plus four. So it was nine. So she turns that 24 into a 15. 15, yeah, it doesn't hit. Yeah. So she... It reaches out and she takes her sword and just so parries fucking, it off. That's so fucking good. Oh my god. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Battlemaster is Al's so dead. Cool. <laughs> Al's Jeez. dead. Kavir, you're up. The Shar is on deck. Okay. All right, so... Uh, Battle map. who just hit me. Yes, it's the right one right in front of you. of you. Is he wearing any kind of, like, metalish looking armor? It's a war forge. Metal it's, you're, you're letting, like, it's natural it's armor and a shield, so it's made of metal. He's made of metal and wood. All right, then. It is a war forge. Mm, he's not the only one that has wood. What? Hey. All right. So I look at him, and I cast Shocking Grasp. <laughs> yeah. That made at advantage because he is made of metal. Nice. Yep. All right. So, if D and D Beyond wants to help it's me out, it's D and D. Have it. D and D Beyond. Oh, no, those kid kids. No, don't give me that. Whoops! We rolled a natural one. Of... <laughs> <laughs> we go whoopsies. Whoopsies. All right. So, um, first one is a 20 to hit, and the other one is a 13 to hit. 20 will hit. All right, so he takes 2d8 uh, light, uh, uh, lightning, and oh my god, uh, he takes uh, 12 lightning damage, and um, he cannot be able to take um, a reaction. I'll just stop you right there. You grasp him, and the electricity surges through his body, and he explodes. Holy shit. That was hot. He's gone. Whoop. Short and circuit. that was the one that I had. Um, I uh, uh, that was the one. That, I that was the one you had hex on. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter here then. Say hex damage on top of that. <laughs> but, yeah, that's why I was like, I'll stop you there. You, you, the hex damage is going to overkill him. It was good. I'm gonna let you finish. All right. So, um, you got three Warforge surrounding Mal. Okay. And a Carnathi over here. All right, I'm gonna switch over um, my hex to what is your strength, Mal? The red? The red yeah, one? Yeah, we need that one. Okay, strength, I take it? Um, actually, we're gonna do wisdom on this one. Wisdom, wisdom. okay. And I'm going to run back uh, about, oh geez. Um, you know what, I'm gonna run back about 15. Backwards? Yes. Uh, right. 10, 15. Okay. Yes. Trying to stay as much here out of the action here as I can. <laughs> okay. And um, that should be my action bonus action and move. That should be all. Yes, that is. Vishara. All right. So Vishara is going to go over to Drinma. 10 feet of movement. Yep. And cast. Don't do anything too strong, but not <laughs> strong enough. Yes. Brian's gone. <laughs> Brian's gone. Let's all talk shit about him now. Uh, we'll do healing word at second level. Okay, that's not going to affect your revivify or anything, right? Huh? That's not no. going to affect. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, we're 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 right. Okay. All right. Cool. I mean, I could do mass healing word, but that would be like everybody. Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to worry about that. Yeah, I think you're the only one that's taken enough damage to the point where you really need healed. Al needs revivify. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're I, I agree 100%. Yeah, so we'll do healing word at second level. That's 2d4 plus 4. Okay, 11. <sighs> that helps a lot. Okay. Yeah, that helps a lot. Thank you. What are you at? Uh, I was at a 7. Oh. I, had, I had 66 health, by the way, when we started this. And you're down. Oh God! <laughs> like I said, sorry, I've been holding that for like thirty minutes. I was like, oh, she's healing, so I can run. Yeah, but like I said, I if I if I didn't have resistance, I would have probably died four times over. So I did healing word at second level, healed Jerma for eleven. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yes. Um, Is that a action. action? You can't cast two spells. 
I can do a cantrip. You can. I will use. I have to do toll the, toll the dead. Toll the dead. On this warforged. The one that took damage from. Huh? And is hexed on wisdom because this is a wisdom saving throw. Hey. Yeah. Wow. That's that's teamwork right there. Fails. Damn. Oh, okay. It's Fail. disadvantage. Yeah, that's right. disadvantage, disadvantage, not advantage, dear. Disadvantage. Sorry, I'm yeah. so used to so looking at advantage. Necrotic. Holy shit, nice. So that is six points of necrotic damage. Okay. Nice. nice. That is your turn. It's a good turn. Good turn. It is. Wait. Un- I read that wrong. Hold on. It's taken damage. Told the dead, yes. So you have to 2D up it. 2d12. It's 2d12. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to re heal re-heal it for eight. <laughs> reheal. Go ahead. 2d12. That, yeah, that's 2d12. Yeah. 18 points. <laughs> it was a 12 and an eight. Nice. Or a 12 and a six. So you all wow. hear what sounds like a little chime and you watch as this war oh, no, forge. it's a loud bell. Oh, okay. A loud <laughs> bell, a loud chime, and this war forge literally starts to decay in front of you. Ooh. Even though it is not a humanoid, the metal and wood that is made of starts to rot and turn to dust and rust. It's pretty it awesome. is really hurt. It's really it is awesome. really, really hurt. Yay! Okay. It is the undead soldier's turn. It's going for you, cat. It's not liking how you're hitting him and running him. Just doesn't well, like fuck it. Him <laughs> yep, it just doesn't like it. Since I have a minute. You have a minute. It's been a while. Right. Uncanny dodge. <laughs> she was just waiting on that. Yeah, no. Hell, hell cool. yeah. Rogues, hey. Yeah. So, um, two of the three will hit. First one, you will do the uncanny dodge. I agree. So, the first one is eight points. You did uncanny dodge, so four points. And then the second is uh, five points of damage. So, the way they. All right, that is its turn. It is Alistair's turn. Alistair. Yeah, do something. Is going to attack the Warforge that is hurt. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, that thing's dead. I'm not even rolling dice. Nat 20. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm rolling a lot of Nat 20s yeah. tonight. It's wow. kind of scary. Uh, second attack. Mm-hmm. He's going to move 5, 10, 15. Attack the undead soldier that is attacking you, cat. Good. Uh, he's gonna pump a divine smite. Must have been pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you so you watch as Al- Alistair runs up, takes his sword and just slashes across the chest, and as it does, a burst of divine light hits the undead soldier. It is looking really, really, really hurt. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, that is oh, Alistair's God. turn. Cat Benatar, you're up. Here is your battle map. You're here. Alistair's here. 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 And there's the undead soldier. I'm going to do sneak attack on the blue number diamond thing. The Warforged? Yeah. Okay. Are you throwing or are you going to use movement and then attack? Oh, yeah. I do have my blink daggers again, right? Yes. Well, you have. Okay. Yeah, you got both of them because you blinked. Yeah, let me blink dagger them. Him. It. It. Okay. Thing. Uh, yep. Do you do you, I, do you do it cool? Like underneath the arm, you're like focused on this guy and then just. No, the tail curls up and she oh. throws it through the tail. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That's a great idea. Okay, so with my blink dagger, it's a 13. 13 to hit? Ooh. 
Doesn't it? Mm. Aww. So you throw your blink dagger and it whizzes right by his head and lands about ten feet past him. Okay. Do you have a bonus action? You can always blink to it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna blink to it. Okay, so you blink from here to there. Yeah. Nice. I mean, okay. I'm... Yep. Okay, uh, that is your turn. I my assets, because that's what I really... <laughs> uh, Mal, you're up. Drinma is on deck. Okay. Can I see that one more time? Yes, Mal? absolutely. Oh, did okay. we get that one? Alistair killed it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> Yeah, she'll just uh which one of those took damage? They both they both have taken damage, right? Uh no. The This one has not this, this one, one has This one has, this one has not. She'll attack the one that has taken damage. Has taken damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh that worked. Pen, pen, pen. That was second round. Hey. So hey, real quick here. Um I was taking up um our kid here down here to bed here. Um on nothing. 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 Uh Alistair killed one of the Warforged and then did some damage to the undead. So you've got two Warforged and one more undead on the map. Oh shit, so he's turning cloak. He has all, well. Yeah. All right, so. He's temporarily al allying with us. He said, our feud's not done, but we need to protect our home. So uh, what? So what's your attack 26. Roll? 26 hits. That's. Uh, that is 12 points of slashing damage. You rolled another six. It is done. So Mal slices like where the rust and decay really set in, aims her sword and cuts right through him and cuts him in half and he disintegrates because of Toll the Dead. Damn. So that one, that one's down. So you still have the one that... She's going to attack the one next to it. Yep. All right. Has not taken any damage. Make your attack roll. 21 to hit. 21 will hit. Okay. Um, she is also going to make this a distracting strike. So she's just going to expend a die, a superiority die. Okay. This is kind of fun to be a battle mate. <laughs> yeah, you get to play two characters, man. Okay. Dude, Chris, can you be able to imagine like a battle? It would if, be. Maybe. Fix your camera. Yeah. There's only half of your faces on there the screen. Go. There you go. Okay. So, just so you know, she you get to add that damage as well to yeah. the strike. That is 19 points of damage, and it is, uh, and whoever attacks the next gets advantage. Okay. So, it'd probably be Cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that Mal's turn? That is Mal's turn, yeah. All righty, Drinma, you're up. Okay. Rage is gone. So, uh, she's way back over there. Um, you did hear Rage is Gone, right? I heard. Yeah, okay. I heard. Shut up, baby. I know it. Okay. Um, <laughs> can I see the map one more time? Might be. Yes. Sorry. 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 You're good. You're back here by Vishara. Um, is it an action to swap out for uh, Bo? Or was it? Yes. That's, that would be an action? Hmm. Yeah. It's an action. Okay. Um, I don't think I can get far enough, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh, I can get to there. You yeah. Get to the Carnathy. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do okay. that. You ready? Reckless. 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 Great weapon master. Are you not raging? Ra uh, yeah, so rage. So bonus action rage, mark yep. that off. Yep. And then you're going reckless, great weapon master. Yep. Okay, yep. go. So two attacks at reckless. Rah! Ooh. Uh, so that's a minus five, right? Minus five, yes. 16. Does not hit. Oh. Okay. So close. Damn. I know, right? Yeah. Damn. That's all she's got. She just wanted to, she wanted to fucking pump into that dude. Well, you have two attacks. Oh, I do. Can I do that again? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At advantage, uh, buddy. At advantage. at advantage. You go reckless. Every you got two attacks, so every attack is 19. At advantage. That's better. 19 will hit. That's much better. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right. Great weapon master adding 10. And your plus 2 for your uh for your rage damage. Yep. Uh, okay, so we're at 12, 70, 21 points of damage. Okay, Undead Fortitude has kicked in. Does your Radiant kick in there at all either? Uh, yeah, it was three points of Radiant damage. Oh, then it's Undead Fortitude doesn't, it, it's gone. Sorry, he, I should, he, I should you obliterate it. 
All Carnathy's gone. Look at those muscles, Pete. You're so ripply. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do, Drinma? Uh, that was an action, bonus action, movement. Yeah, she's all. Yeah, you're she's, done. She's quite satisfied. Okay, it is the Warforged's turn. It is going to attack Mal. Mm -hmm. It's going to take its two attacks against Mal. Okay. Yep. Nope. Yeah, no. First, first slash Mal kind of like takes her swords and sh uh, parries it. And then the second one, she just dodges out of the way. Um, Man, Mal's pretty The Warforge is uh, going to try to run for the door. Now you get attack of opportunity. Okay. That's a natural 20. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So as part of your attack with Great Weapon Master, when you kill- No, no, it's Mal. Oh, no, no, it's no, not Drenma. No, it's not Drenma. It's Mal. Never mind. I'm pretty sure you kill this thing. Okay, so six. what's what's her damage with her short sword? She's at twelve right now. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Uh, killing blow is yours. So Mal, seeing that this this thing turns tail, she goes and she starts swinging her swords in a figure eight, just and then goes and then just goes right through right. the neck of it. Okay. As, I, as I was trying to run away, just right at the base okay. of the neck. It is down. Okay. Oh God, Al. I, I haven't heard that we're out of combat yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. So the secret rule is about to take an effect and we're going to take our break. No! God damn you! Okay. We're all going to rehydrate, go to the bathroom and uh, walk our dogs. We will be back here in 10 minutes. And you all get to discover what the secret rule, the secret homebrew rule is. Although Peter already knows it. We'll be right Sorry, back. Guys. See you soon. And we're back. We, we've we rehydrated. Um, Brian tried to calm down, but failed. Yep. Miserable, so, apparently. So as Mal strikes down the last war forge, you hear... Well, well done. I can see how you destroyed my beautiful changeling. No matter. Which one's talking? Malaric. Oh, lovely. Hmm. Um, you all turn around. A few seconds, you won't even and be see the dwarf talking. Allow me to give you a gift. And as he says that, you start to watch this dwarven face melt away and be replaced by orange and brown fur oh dear. and standing six feet tall, covered in armor. Oh dear. And stands before you is a Rakshasa. Oh dear. Known as Malarik. And as he finally transforms into his true form, you see him hold out his hand in a bunch of arcane symbols trace around his hand. Bone Devil, show them how happy I uh -huh. am to see them destroy a loyal acolyte. And welcome to the 666 homebrew rule, everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so when the 666, if someone rolls 666, three sixes, Peter and, Thanks, I, Pete. Peter and I had created a homebrew rule where uh, a certain... Mind you, Mal also rolled three sixes in a row. Yeah, earlier. Yeah. It, so, But it was after his, so it's Which kind is of, ironic because it would have happened anyway. It was destined to happen. Yes, it was destined to happen. So oh my God. when three sixes are rolled in a row... It's called the 666 encounter. Uh, I have to, I tried to make sure it tied into the story and thankfully you guys, um, I was going to kind of reveal Mallory later, but no, since 666 rule just got activated. We get Rakshasa. You get Rakshasa who has just summoned a bone devil. So bone as he says devil. that, you watch as a bone devil 
um, rips through the floor of the cathedral. I need you all to roll initiative. Again? Uh, Again. Oh, I got a 28. Oh my god. You're a natural 20? I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh. oh. So your first attack is with advantage. So 25 to 20. You would have been here already. Yeah, Double 28. Advantage. Uh, 25 to 20, uh, Nishar is 21. Drinma! Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, so that is a 20 for her. A 20 for Mal? Uh, 20, no, 20 for Drinma. Oh, 20 for Drinma? a 18 for Mal. Okay. Yeah, wow. Those were, those were the best D20s I think I've rolled in one. That is a 9! Nine. 9! Nine. Okay. Mal is, just- is dead. Kavir is just in complete sense. just shock and awe at what the hell is happening. Like he understands, you know, you know, like what these things might be after his studies of the occult, and he is just in awe that these things are actually standing here right here with him. Yes. So um to give you confirmation, Al has been dead. Twelve seconds. Well, but thirty seconds had just passed, so or oh, 24 okay. seconds. So Al's been dead for ooh, 36 seconds. So and now we have to fight this thing. <laughs> you could still. Uh, how how long's the casting time for Revivify? It's instantaneous. It's an action, but it gotcha. if it if they've been dead for more than a minute, it, it will, doesn't it work. Will not work. You might have to try to just get them up. Um, uh, Cap Benatar. Mm assassinate. <laughs> You're here. So, so nonchalantly. Bone devil, Bone devil here. Devil. Assassinate. You throw in your devil. blink dagger? Yeah. Do it. Ass- What's the range on it? It's It's like some stupid uh, like 60 um, feet. Uh, 20 feet oh, okay. is what thing. 20 so feet for the blink move. dagger? 20 feet and then anything else beyond that has to be um, um, at disadvantage here until 60 feet. Okay, so but you might need to move. Yeah, so uh, just put it at the twenty. 20 yeah, yeah, you go. Put it at the twenty mark. So make your make your attack roll. So fifteen is the first one, and then roll again because you have an advantage. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. All right, so we are already at. What we say it was what thirty six. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that one actually here. Let's just do this. Your uh, hit, hit, hit your D six. Oh my god! This uh, is your so D4 fucking four times. nuts. I'm sorry, just three times. And then hit roll. Three. <laughs> right on top of that, twenty five. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, twenty three plus thirty six is fifty nine. Fifty nine damage. Jeez. On that bone devil. Not your all time high. Hold on. But it's still very yeah. good. 59. What is my all time high? 74 is your all time high. <laughs> but I rolled 40. That's why I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now you also saw the also that you see. Still my gig. No, that was 74 on one turn. So as you throw your blank no, dagger, no, it, it connects. It but it doesn't seem to be hurting as much as you think it would. Oh, jeez, bro. Even with psychic damage? Yep. Uh, holy shit. Well, you wouldn't really understand that really here. Actions. What are you doing? Other deck? Um, I guess. I don't. I'm gonna pretend like I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh. 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 Whoop, eh, whoop, whoop, sorry, whoop. Uh, Vashara, you're on deck. Yep. What? Um, so she is going to be uh, um, attacking uh, as a bonus action by the other blink dagger. Okay. It's a good thing she has advantage because the first one was actually that. <laughs> of um, course. For the second time around, we have a 21 total. 21 will hit. Nice, nice. And go ahead and because it, it, because it is already actually a hit, um, is 16 damage plus 
um, 11. So we are at seven, sorry, 27 damage total. 27 damage. So 27 plus 59. 86. 86. Wow. You, done, you now hit a new high. You, <laughs> you did it. 59 damage. Almost 100. My goal is a. Trust me, y'all get there. <laughs> My goal is 100 damage in one turn. <laughs> y'all get there. That that has to be uh, the name of our episode. My goal is 100. Okay, so it was, I'm used to 27, now it's goal is 100. So what did okay. so, so uh, I, I say it was? 87? 86. 86. 86. I'm, keeping, I'm keeping record of that. Nice. Anything else you want to do on your turn? That was an action, bonus action. You use some movement. You can move back a little bit, but you move the hell out. Of this yeah, move back. As far All right. As I can go. Actually, if you want to, so we should move up fifteen. Oh, I'm gonna use something I've never used before. Okay. My feline agility. You have used it. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do that. Just no. kidding. That's dumb. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but then no, I can't stupid. move. Stupid. Move back. Yeah, so you move back 15 more feet. Vashar, uh, uh, so, so it is your turn. Drinma, you are on deck. Uh, Thank you, sir. I want to do that. I'll move back 15. It's fine. Vashara is going. I got 20 health. Got plenty. <laughs> plenty of health. <laughs> Vishar is going to cast Guiding Bolt at first level. Okay. Yeah, do it. You know what, that, you know what this means, right? You're going to have to have another secret rule. That uh -huh. is a 24 to hit. 24 another hits. one. Is it fire? Another one. Radiant. Radiant? We okay. the best. We the best. One more. One more. Appreciate 10 it. points of radiant damage. Okay. And next attack has advantage. Alrighty. And that was my action. I don't have any bonus actions that aren't spells, and I'm going to stay right there. Okay. Drinma, you're up. Mal is on deck. Okay. Um, seeing this monstrosity, Drinma is going to use her potion of healing. She's totally going to do that. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna use. I'm just gonna use the supreme or the regular. Uh, she's gonna use the supreme because she was pretty hurt bad. Okay. All right, so it is ten d four plus twenty. Holy shit! Aren't we glad we found those? Yeah. All right. Okay, she heals up forty seven. All right. Nice. That's your action bonus action. Um, is Rage gone? Oh, Rage, rage is yeah, gone. Yeah, Rage is gone for her. Um, she's as a free action. She wants to look at Alistair and go. Alistair, is this of your doing? Got. It. That's it. That's it. All right. Mal's little, up. Little little wink and smoochies. Okay. Yeah, so where's Mal at right there? Uh, Mal is right here. Okay. Devil's right there. Okay, so she can go 5, 10, 15, 20. She can run, she can go diagonally. Yeah. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. So, she's she's going to she's gonna run up right there. Okay. And uh, is this guy carrying anything? What does he look like? This is. Um, let me pull up. I was the, gonna say, pull a picture in the Discord. Let me. Uh, let me give you a picture. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Yeah, that that he's just stupid. Oh dear God. Are you gonna give us all a picture? Yep, I'm sending it into the Discord right now. If it's another dick pic. Oh god. Oh, god. oh my god, it's cute. <laughs> it's covering up its dick. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't it, think it has one. It, well, I don't know. It's probably got barbs as well. Yeah, the bar. It's the barbed bone devil. It's some would fine. say the barb was set pretty low on that. <laughs> that was a poor joke. Okay, but he yeah. So it doesn't appear like he has anything on him of importance. No. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, she's gonna go and she's gonna attack this mofo. Okay. And, Make uh, your attack. Roll. And that's at advantage because you did hit it with guiding bolt. Yep. I want to rip its barbs off. Dicky. Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Okay. Okay, that's uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Okay. Okay, she's going to attack again. All right. 17. Yeah, 17. 17 hits. Cool. Uh, Eight points of slashing damage. And then bonus action, she wants to do another offhand one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 20 to hit. 20 hits. Man. Uh, that is... I still, I still, I, don't, I just don't add, I just add the damage die, not the attack modifier. Is that what we said? No, because you have two weapon fighting. Uh, okay. Uh, eight points of slash, eight more points of slashing game. Okay. So you watch as Mal just takes three slashes and slash, slash it up. It does hurt it, but it's still there. It's not hurting as much as it should. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. But it's looking, it is looking hurt. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Alright, it is the devil's turn. The devil. He is going to use his multi-attack. Uh, two with its claw and one with its tail. On Mal. Okay. Mal's now the new tank. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No issues whatsoever. How could this go wrong? Eighteen. Uh, yeah. No. Nothing's hitting. Holy shit! Oh man! So it oh. whips its tail across, and Mal ducks low, and then it go. It goes. Slash, slash, and Mal kind of like backs up in time, and on the last hit, uses both, puts both of those swords in front of her, and takes the claw and just just parries the attack. I'm in, um, I'm in love. That's its turn. I'm in love. Kavir, you're up. Oh Lord, let me see the battlefield. <laughs> love is a battle. Kavir, you're here. <laughs> Right. Here. Come here. I can't, here. See, I, I, I can't see where you're pointing. I, I, I move the camera direction. Bone Devil. Bone Daddy. You. That's what I'm gonna call him. You are five, ten, fifteen. Fifteen feet from it. Alrighty. So Hex should still be active because it was Good cast for... within one minute. Yes. Yeah. And a minute has not passed. All right, can definitely I am that. going to uh, uh, relocate the hex here to that one because the last one probably is dead. Okay. And I am going to cast... Wait, what's all around it? Show me again. Just just uh, Mal. Just, just Mal. Just you, just Mal, Mal, and Al's dead body. Al, okay. dead Al, Mal, Bone, you. you. I'm going to send Raylis over to run over telepathically um, and say and say uh, um, get his attention for me. Okay. And as it do that and it runs over, it flies over and then um, tries to go get its attention, should we give me the help action here in the process? Yep. I'm going to cast um, you know what? Let's do uh, my Eldritch Invocation of uh, Grasp of Hadar. Okay. And I'm going to do that two times against him. Two. Count them. 
Check, check. <laughs> Natural 20 for the first one. Nice! Okay. All right. Nice, and for the second one, we have a 23 total and a nine total. So we'll take the 23. So we should have two hits here against it. Yep. All right, so that should be 2d10 and 2d6. Well, it's already 32. Yes, yes, yes. We're already at, at, at um, 32. Yeah, 32 damage here so far, plus 12 on top of that, so it should be a total of uh, 46 damage Great. against it. Okay. And, it, and it also has to be pulled um, at least 10 feet. 10 feet towards him. Killing blow is yours. Oh, oh yeah. Holy yeah. shit, dude. So as I uh, uh, extend my hands out and just focus my ire on so, this beast, I am um, focusing all my uh, uh, attention on um, what I know, my knowledge of the occult, and I am whispering my art in different uh, invocations. And I focus out on um, uh, two beings of this external, uh, uh, this otherworldly force, as you do, I, uh, blackish beings just leave my body and just wrap itself here around the, uh, uh, um, just around this bone devil, crushing it, it pulling it in okay. here, 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 there, um, as the writhing kind of battering it. Okay. That was hot. Okay, Peter, so, like, I... Again, All right. it's just like one of my animes. <laughs> so as you watch Kavir do all that and destroy the devil, you see in the far corner um, Malarik and Starin with... Um, Safeguard and Merix. And you watch as a gate gate opens up, and they all start begin to walk through. And Mallory just turns around. See you soon, my friends. And walks through as the gate closes. Who all went through the gate? Stop us. Huh? Who all went through the gate? Uh, Merrick's safeguard. Um, Star and, Star and, and, and Mallory. Okay. As that happens, that rumbling that caused this is getting very, very close. Mm-hmm. Kavir yells uh, out, wait, you owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> Mer- Merricks was not going willingly. Merricks was like, getting dragged. They were taking Merricks and safeguard. I still yell it. Oh, of course. <laughs> um, and as that rumbling gets closer, you watch as a hammer bust through the top of the main entrance, and there is a 30-foot-tall Warforged Titan, followed by three Warforged leading it. Um, I will show you the picture. Oh, God. It has a hammer for its Ooh. right hand and an axe for its left. Roll initiative. Are you boo him! Boo. boo this man! Boo him! Can I get my blink daggers? You had to blink two of them? Oh my god. 25 to 20. Hold on, oh. I haven't even rolled. I'm just... oh god. Oh, I'm so bad. Dude, you suck. Not that great. All right, 25 to 20. Did you work your shit? Negative, sir. Okay. Um, 19 to 15. Drenma, 17. 17. Me too! She's going to beat me on the decks, I guarantee you. Yeah, she's going to beat you on the decks, so. How do I know? Mine's six. Because you have a plus eight of your initiative. 
Oh my god. Oh, that's why. <laughs> um, 14 to 10. 14. 14. Uh, 13 for Mal. I don't know you are going first. Kavir, what'd you roll? Nine to five. Six. <laughs> Another Ow. six. Okay. You just keep getting lower and lower in the initiative. That's okay. I got the killing blow last time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one more. Another Full one. Move, Cotton. We'll see what plays out. Top of the round. Oh, dear. It is the Warforged Titan's turn. Dear God. Where is that one? Real quick. D10 is the Warforged Titan. D12s are your Warforged. I'm just going to yell out, guys, I hate to say this, but we might be out of our league here. I don't know, I kind of feel like running. We might want to get out of here. And I yell back to Kavir, you're just now figuring this out. Warforged. So are we all in agreeance? You gonna leave a dead part, a dead party member? We can pick him up. Five. We get strong members. Ten, fifteen. Going for Drinma. It is going to use its uh, ability sweeping axe. That's not me over there, by the way. Yeah, it is. That's no way. That's me. That is you. That's what we had. Yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Because Mal. Oh, I was thinking of Mal. Sorry, I was like, wait a minute, I was over at the Bone Guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. no, Mal was over at the Bone Guy. So, you're, you're, oh my. Wait, you're the one with the crossbow and the. And I know, it makes a lot of sense. I All right, um, it's going to use its ability sweeping axe. I need Alistair and Drinma to make a dexterity saving throw. Cool. I can deal with that. Mm, you said dex. Uh, 18. Yeah. Because I get advantage on deck saving throws. Yes. So you and Alistair take nine points nine. of slashing damage. Cool. That's all? Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, wait. Six. Twelve points of slashing damage. I forgot the modifier. Twelve points of slashing damage. Okay. Fair oh, enough. God. Uh, it's a good thing I took that potion. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um. That's its ability. That was its movement. So that is the end of the Warforged Titan's turn. Cat Benatar, you're up. Oh um. My God. You got one Warforged within ten, five feet of you. So, um, y'all, I think we should take a vote who on bailing this area. There's no voting when there's six because seconds. Because we have no exit. They are blocking the door. We have no exit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, shit. Well, I need to get my blink back. And I blink my blinkies. So you're gonna blink to the bar where the bone devil was? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. your bonus action. You got your blink dagger back. Um, I love y'alls, but I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Away. Okay. <laughs> All right, Drinma, it is your turn. Nice, shit. <laughs> Drinma, it is your turn. Vishara, you're on deck. All right. No, no. Warforged um, Titan, right next to this man. <laughs> As a free action, can she? Can she look up and see, uh, the the blood regent and Jayla? Oh no, they're gone. They, they okay. They, everyone, everyone skedaddled. Okay, right. out of the room as soon they, as the yeah, first we, wave showed up. Yeah. Um, does there appear to be any way out of this chamber at all? Make a perception check. Oh yeah, maybe I should have done that. Huh? It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Said perception. Yes. Ooh, that's pretty good. Twenty-three. 
23. So they're above on the second floor. Mm -hmm. So in this area, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there's a door for the first floor. There doesn't look to be a way out except for the one that's right here. But are there stairs that go up to said door or just there's just a balcony with a door there? There's a balcony and a door in the back. It looks like it goes down. But with that twenty-three, but I, okay, but I couldn't, I couldn't tell the, a way to access that door. From no. Here. Okay, so it is. I would, I would assume that then there's no way to get in or out except from that door that they entered. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Okay. Um. Hmm. So that would be my action to make that perception. No, that that's, that would be a free. Okay, fair enough. Uh, rage. Rage. <laughs> rage. Go ahead. So we're gonna go. Uh, rage. Reckless, great weapon master. Just gonna fucking lay into this dude because that's how we fucking do it. Okay. Oh my god, shit. Do it. Let's fucking do it, man. Okay, alright. Uh, you think I know this by heart right now? Okay. Uh, uh, so 17. Does not hit. Oh. Okay. Okay, fuck. You got another attack? I, I know. Do the same thing. Natural 20! Nice! Yay. All right. Fuck this world up. Okay. Okay. Let me, so we are at... Uh, that is 12, 15, uh, 21... Does he get the two additional 12s, too? Is that brutal critical? I don't think he has. I don't, that ha- I don't have that yet. No, I don't have. Yeah, don't have no, yet. I don't have that yet. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Uh, so twenty-one, twenty-five, twenty-eight, uh, twenty-nine points of damage. Uh, is that including the divine fury? Uh oh, actually, I forgot the plus. I forgot the ten extra, so thirty-nine. Okay. Is that including the divine fury because uh, it is a crit? Okay. Divine. Oh no, that wasn't a divine fury. So it was thirty-nine. Plus so six, six would be forty-five, and yeah. then roll a d six. Uh, five, so fifty. Fifty. You take your great sword and you slash up against its um, leg because again, Assassin thirty feet tall, and kind of almost bounces off, but it weakens that leg. So you go again, reckless. Just take all your strength and hit it. A, does a lot of damage. Not as much as Assassin Rogue, but it'll do. It'll do. <laughs> um, that'll do. That'll Raging. do. That'll do, that'll do. You're not going to move. I'm not going to move, no. Okay, that's your turn. Vishara, you're up. Jesus Christ. Vishara is going to run over to Al. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20 feet of movement. Revivify. Revivify. I need you to roll a d20 and add your spellcasting modifier. Uh, it's... So is this part of the secret rule? No, this is the revivify rule. It does not automatically work. There are DCs and you have to make a check. I kind of like that, especially with like Matt Mercer when they're doing like dispel magic. I actually, I actually really like that. So then it's not just, yeah. oh, it's a super powerful magic. Well, dispel magic, it's fine. You know, yeah. Like you actually, 15. yeah, I like, yes. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So uh, mark your crystal off. You put that crystal on Al's chest and you feel your quarry kind of give you a little more power. The crystal grows really, really bright and fades away. It didn't work? (sighs) Oh, thank God. (laughs) Al is alive. Oh, thank God. You'll have to tell us all about hell after this. With one hit point. <laughs> Welcome back to hell. <laughs> I so hope you enjoyed where you were. I hope you enjoyed where you were, because you're going to be there really soon. Can I can I pour a supreme healing potion down his throat with a bonus action? No, because it, uh, uh, no, no, because it's an action. It's all actions. Even if you're giving it to someone else, it's an action. And I can't cast any other spells with mm. bonus action. No, because you used Revivify. I was third level, though. Yeah. Unless you have a cantrip, can't that is a bonus, bonus action. action. All I have is spare the time. Well, then, yeah, you're, you're. I think you're good. That's your turn. 
Mal is up. Kavir, you're on deck. All right, so oh boy. where's Mal? Can you, go, can you pull that back up? I just want to see. Absolutely. Is Thank you. Mal is right with Cat. All right, how far to the nearest Warforge? Warforge, you've got... 25 yep. feet. Yep. 25. She'll do that. She's doing that. All right. Make your attack Slice rolls. Slice and dice, mofo. Uh, right. 21 to hit. 21 will hit. Okay. Uh, eight points of slashing, slashing damage. Okay. Second. Second. Seventeen. Yep. Seventeen hits. Man. Twelve points of slashing damage. Twelve points. All right. And then Bonus action she's attack. She's gonna she's gonna attack that again because she likes attacky attacks. Attacky attacks. Uh, t- t- geez, 25. 25 will hit. She has a plus nine, by the way. Like, Yeah, those, you guys got some magical weapons. Christ. Your mid DCs are up. Yeah. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. All right. Man, she just so you them. watch as Drenma slashes. Mal. What's Mal? Or Mal, sorry. Again, you're play- you watch as Mal slash across its chest with the first attack, second attack, and then comes down. Cuts that Warforge in half. It is down. It is dead. Wow. Uh, that was your movement action bonus action. That's all your action economy. Yep. Kavir, it is your turn. Okay. So, all the way in the back. So, a couple things here first. Um, would you say that there has been less than a full minute that has gone by here before um, Hex would have been able to end? Hex is still in effect. Yeah. Because I got to Al before the minute was up, so... Because you cast Hex when Al died, so you have, um... Probably another, what, two turns, maybe? Another two rounds. Five, six, seven... Yeah, you got two more rounds. So, I will say this here, too. Hex is also concentration. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we never made concentration rolls just the two times that Al hit. So, in all fairness, let's just say that Hex had, had actually then ended at that time. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, just because I want to make sure that we're on, you know, like a fair playing field. Oh, absolutely. Um, oh, you got hit. Of, no, I didn't oh, think yeah. he... Yeah, he did get hit. He got hit twice by the uh, Warforge because it came one up was, and hit him. One was a javelin and one had yeah. done that. Yeah. And... Exactly. And we never made any kind of concentration. That's fine. Well, no, he made so... the first concentration check. No, no, he didn't. He no, never made no, it. No, I never made any kind of concentration throw. Again, there's a lot of shit going on. That's my bad. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go it's with okay. that. It's only our third and, and It's only our third combat account. Well, it's like, only yeah. our third battle of the night. I know. Right. Jesus Christ. And, and I and I should have said something here, but I'm sorry that I... It's all good, man. Um, okay, dude, as you can see, you were more worried about the secret homebrew rule, and then it's like shit just kept happening. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I am going to first cast... It's going to be funny looking at this recording, because I want to see what your reaction was when you saw those three sixes when you rolled. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to look it, back at that. It looks kind of like this. Yeah, I think it was. I don't want to say it was. What have I like done? It. What have I done? I, I, I have to. Like, oh no. Part of the game. Part of the game. Yeah. Part of the game. We made it. Part of the ship. Part, part of the crew. Part of the crew. I love that. I love that so much. All right, buddy. Kavir, what are you doing, buddy? All right. Oh, my God. Let me see the map here one more time. I'm sorry. Got it. Bubble. Okay. You're all the way back here. And what's around me? Me and Al and Cat. And we're the enemies. Where out by the door. Out by the door. And then you've got the Warforged Titan. By Drenma. And Alistair. So the Warforged Titan is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 35 feet from you. Everything else is about 40 to 45 feet away. And I am in your direct line, so you're gonna have to move. That's all right. We got this. Could tick, tickle him a little bit. Little. All right. I'm gonna move five feet over here to my left. Stage left. There we go. Telepathically say, Rayless, I need your help again. Okay. Fire off Rayless here towards the direction of that warp. 
first Titan. Okay. What's uh, Raylus's movement speed? Um, it should be. I want to say it's like 40, 30 or 40. With, a, with being a raven, it is 50. It's oh, not as God. much as a. It's not now. Yeah, no, so. No, wow. Yeah. Just that he has enough movement to, or I assume, make the help ac- action? Yes, sir. It is distracting the Warforged Titan. Hex on that Warforged Titan. Okay. At level one. So I also need to be able to make a D20 D- roll as well yep. for you. Ooh, I got really close. That was a four, good sir. You're still good. Wow. Now bumps up to three three now. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, On your hex, what is what are you making disadvantage on? Wisdom. Wisdom. Okay. I assume these guys are probably not very wise, anyways. And that's another thing here as well. Here too. Um, so that was already cast, dude. Eldritch Blast. Hell yeah, Eldritch Blast. Alrighty. Bart. Alright, so, attacking twice. For the first one, we have a 23 to hit. 23 hits. Alright. So that will do... Um, 6 plus... Two, so eight damage on the first one. Okay. And on the second one, good thing here. Good thing that it's at advantage because that was a natural one. Ouch. Um, and a thirteen for the second one. Quick question. Yo. Are the D10 inspirations still in effect? They oh, are yes, still in effect. Yes. I would love to be able to use that D10 inspiration on that last one. Only a thirteen. He rolled a thirteen on his D20. It wasn't thirteen. <laughs> damage. Oh, okay, yeah. That was his I would love to go use a D... I would love to go use a 13. You knocked uh, my plan over almost. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. So, I just wanted to clarify. Oh, that was good. Because he's a real American. Yes, it is. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. 23. 23 hits. Wow, good job, hits. man. You're welcome, Pete. Jesus Another one. Thank you. You've used your inspiration for the night. Excellente. <laughs> We've been rolling so well all night. It's like we didn't need it, but then you rolled a 13. And I'm like, wait, hey, let me uh, correct every this. Little bit, every little bit helps. Mm, yeah, I get it. Uh, oh, <laughs> ouch. All right. It's a low roller, but you know, what? I'll take it. something. Every little bit helps. Yep. Uh, anything else you want to do? That, that, that is action, bonus action. I've done a little bit of movement, and I'm going to jump right back here behind the shark. Okay. Boink. Little Boink. Little, little sneaky sneak, little poop poop. Okay, oh, it is the Warforged White Soldier's girl. turn. Uh, first one is going to use 10, uh, ten feet of movement and attack Mal. Mm-hmm. Again with, hold on. Multi-attack. Multi-attack. One hits. Uh, yeah, one hits. Okay, she'll take the one hit. She'll take the one hit. All right. She's actually pretty darn good for health, all considering. All considering. Uh, four points of slashing damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, that is its uh, second war forged is going to make its way next to the war forged titan mm-hmm. and attack you, Drinma. Cool. Uh, two attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, both are hitting. Okay, they were at advantage too because she attacked Reckless. Ooh, thank you. Yep. So, so those two will count as the first one, and that hits. Okay, the second one doesn't hit. Four okay. and a three. All right, there you go. So there you go. All right, uh, you take. Four points of slashing damage. Okay. So the first one slices you across the chest again. They're really aiming for your chest. And then mm-hmm. the second one tries to go for your leg again and misses. My breasticles. My breasticles. <laughs> Breast. 
Uh, Al, these are my breasts. It is Al's turn. <gasps> what is Al doing? Al is going to use half his movement to stand up. Okay. There we go. And then Poor we'll guy. Sorry. <laughs> I feel so bad. Uh, the Al's inventory. I feel like we need to have a sit down. Got the blunderbuss. Actual inventory. Equipment inventory. Why? Does he have the supreme healing no. potion or any type? I don't feel like he Al No. Okay. Okay, well, um... Al could probably do stuff really far away, though. Al is going to use his blunderbuss. All right. It <laughs> is a range of 15 to 60 feet. Mm. So 60 feet? Would be at disadvantage. Okay, He's got to get it within 15. Right. 20, 25. So 15 would be right there. 5, 10, okay. 15. He's gonna... Okay. Blunderbuss. Make your attack roll. Uh, I will do it. Does not hit. Mm. Okay. Uh, then... Uh, he has two attacks. He does? Yeah. He's, he's an artificer. Oh, yeah. He's an artificer battlesmith. He gets two. Okay. Fire again. Fire again. Fire away. Fire away. Battle hit. Battle hit? Yes. Sweet. All right. So damage... Eight damage. Eight points of piercing damage. What's your, what's your cat's Max name? Max? Max? Huh? Yeah, I think his name was Max. Yeah. That was his action, correct? That was his action. Okay. Uh, what the is size of that pussy. 30. It's 30. He's, 10, so he's gonna go back again. Okay. Um, and then as bonus action, steel defender. Okay. That's 40 feet, right? Steel Defender. I believe it's 40 feet speed. Yeah, 40 feet. So. I also can't hear you guys, too. 30. Yeah, I think you guys muted yourselves. Still nothing, guys. It would, it, it might there. actually get us, uh, you know. There you go. Like, like not monetized. Oh, okay. Oh. Behind well, the this board. is Max, and he has a okay. pee face. <laughs> it's pee pee face. And bite attack. You can lose. You can use light profanity. Alrighty. Find light. So it's yes. A plus. <laughs> if it makes you question, should I say it? That's it's not probably good. not appropriate to say it. Yeah, that doesn't hit. All right, so that is Al's turn. Uh, it is Alistair's turn. Is he gonna do he something? He's going to attack the Warforged Titan with his two attacks. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's gonna burn his last divine smite. Pump it. Louder. Pump it. Louder. Oh wow. Pump it. Damn, I am rolling hot tonight. So you watch as Alistair takes his sword, two-handed, and goes for the other leg, and as he hits the leg that radiant energy, that divine radiant energy, bursts into the leg and breaks some of the copper metal plating. Yeah. War, the Warforged Titan is starting to, like, slouch down. It's looking hurt. It's kind of hard to tell. However, machines can look hurt. <laughs> uh, Alistair is a free action. is going to look at you, Drinma. Mm -hmm. It's about time you ran away, dear. That is Alistair's turn. Alistair's telling Drinma to run away? Yep. <laughs> it is the Warforged Titan's turn. Uh, I have to make a roll to see if it gets its sweeping attack back. It does not. So it is going to multi-attack. It is going to use its axe hand to attack you, Drinma, mm -hmm. and the hammer fist to attack Alistair. Okay. So... Does he say it's hammer time? Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Yeah, okay. He goes, yeah, you're going to be okay. All right. You're not wrong. You're good. Uh, 
You take 14 points of slashing damage reduced to half, mm -hmm. so seven. Mm -hmm. And um, the hammer fist comes down and you see Alistair basically just almost lean back as it tries to like hit him on the head and kill him. Oh God. Uh, that's its turn. Cat Benatar, you are up. Drinma, you are on deck. Cat, mm -hmm. you're all the way back here. There's a Warforged up here by Mal. This is Al's Steel Defender. Another Warforged. And then the Titan. And then the Titan. So is the door that, like, right This is right the door. Here. The door is open. You have a way to get out. Uh-oh. Oh, that's Adrian. That's Al. I'm using my feline agility and running through. All right, so double, double, it's double movement speed, right? Stop. Feet. It's double movement speed, correct? Yeah. So yeah. 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. She out the door. Yeah. 45, 50, 55, 60. All right. Cat's gone. Cat's gone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> As you're running, just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Drenma, you're up. Save yourself. You are still raging. Go through the door. Oh. Drenma's kind of blocked. Do a little shove, shove, and then run. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Drinma looks at Alistair. You know this doesn't change anything between us, and she is going to push her way through them while raging, kind of like like barrel shove through to get to the door. Alistair or the Warforge, because you cannot push through a 30-foot-tall Warforged the, Yeah, the, the smaller Warforged. Okay, so the Warforged soldier, uh, make a strength check. Which I get advantage because I'm raging. Yes, because you are raging. That's why I did that, I think. I don't know. Okay, uh, and then what do I add to that? Just strength modifier? Your strength modifier, it's a check. Okay, uh... 18. 18, you push through it. Um, You're now taking attack of opportunity. Yep. Which she's perfectly okay with. Or she's okay with. As I said, she's okay with. Okay. You're taking it from two. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, she is. <laughs> uh, Warforged Titan or Warforged Titan misses, Warforged hits. Mm -hmm. Uh, 10 points of slashing damage reduced to half, so five. Five, cool. Five um, points of slashing damage, so are five. Are you out the door? Five, 10, 15, push you out the door. Yeah, as, and I can, can, for thematic reasons, can she look, she'll just kind of look back at Alistair, just kind of make eye contact as she walks through. Okay. I just realized Kavir, Al, and I are trapped. Yeah. Sorry, suckers. Yeah. All right. Well, she, says, she says that she's going out too. We'll secure the outside. Uh, Vashara, it is your turn. Mal is on deck. Okay. Mal you, bro. Uh, huh. Uh huh. Um, you can always dash out of there. Yeah, but then I take a t an attack of opportunity. Yeah, because there's one more. There's a Warforge right at the door. Yeah. Eh. They're not hitting that hard. Okay, and then, and and then, and then you say that action, it's like nat twenty. Action to just give, like not even, just hand Al a healing potion. Yeah. 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 Give an object. A... Yeah, give an object you can. To give an object, it's give object would be considered. Ooh, that's, that's an, a great question. I think it's an action. Free action, or is that a full action? Uh, 
because you're not using it. Right. Dash, disengage. Yeah, that would be a bonus action. A bonus action? Or no, it's an action. Sorry. Uh, cast a spell, dash, disengage, dodge, grapple, help. Hide, improvise. I'm not actually helping. I'm just giving him. But uh, help, hide, improvise, ready, search, shove. Not using an object. Use an object. Uh, not using it. Yeah. So if you're gonna hand something to someone, we'll count it as a bonus action. Cool. So she's going Push to show the. Let me look at what kind of healing potions I have in here. Not using an item. She's not. No, she's not using it. Giving it to Al. She is going to hand one supreme healing potion to Al. Okay. So mark that off. So that gives me one supreme healing potion left. All right. That's your bonus action. Action and movement. Yep. Um. Action. Hold the dead. Can't trip. On. Which one did Kavir hex? The Titan. Titan. Told the dead on the Titan. And that's a wisdom saving? Wisdom saving throw of 15. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh, fails. Cool. 2d12. Do it. Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. You watch as that you hear that loud chime, and you you watch as the plating starts to rust again, and the Warforged Titan looks very hurt. Mal, you're up. So. Mal has just that one person in front, right? Just the one more force. Yeah, she's the just, one more. Yeah, she is going to just attack that mofo. Okay, make your attack roll. Yeah, because right now you got three back here trapped. I know. Uh, that is what a nine. Eighteen. Eighteen will hit. Okay. Another fucking six. Twelve. Twelve points of slashing damage. All right. Second attack. Second attack. Mm. Ooh, that one's not as good. Thirteen. Thirteen does not hit. Yeah. Uh, bonus action. She'll just go one more, one more swipe. Off. Hand. Okay. Do it. That's definitely gonna hit. Uh, Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven hits. Another fucking six. Twelve points of slash. No. No shit. Really? Oh man. No. You watch as Mal cuts this war forge in half. It is gone. I thought once the rule happens, it can never happen again. It can. Oh, God. Pete, I just rolled the second back-to-back two or sixes. Bitch, you thought. Kavir, it's your turn. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Does the rule only go into effect if one person rolls three sixes? No, it's three sixes in a row. Okay, don't roll another six, Pete. I don't want to fight another bone devil. All right. Um, Especially with our barbarian and our. We don't know what we It's also going to be another. Not. Boom, daddy. Something else. Mm hmm. Oh, Show me that map. Show me potato salad. So, door is clear because here's the uh, steel, defender. steel defender. Alistair, Warforged Titan, Warforged. And where's the and where's the door that that uh, that, that would have seen right Cap there. just cowardly run through? Right here. <laughs> you use the dash and barreling through. And is there any enemies here surrounding us? No, you're the We're three right of you are here. back here. Oh. How many feet is that here towards the door? Stop! Stop it! I'm in the way. I'm sorry, your screen is softly blurry, so I can't really see. Yeah, yeah. no, I got you. It's very Bye. pixelated, but it's okay. Right. 30. To get to the door or through? To the door. To the, through it is 35. Hold to the door, door is 30. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. Not all heroes will <laughs> 
<laughs> Not all heroes um. hold doors. <laughs> oh, that was a step. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take my action. I'm sorry, not my action. Um, I'm gonna use my movement to run directly there to the door. But I am going to move one space here to the right of it. So, using my last uh, five feet of movement to the diagonal to move to the right of the door. So, like away there from the enemies. So, right here. Oh, yep. Correct, yes. Cut. To try and not block the door. Not block it, okay. In case I'm, I just, need to I'm just, I'm just holding hold, door. I'm just holding door. Hold door. What a chivalrous hold man door. you are. Okay, that's your movement. <laughs> Anything else? <coughs> <coughs> yes. Um, I'm going to cast dissonant whisper on the Warforged Titan. Okay. I need to make a wisdom saving throw. I uh, telepathically mutter this discordant melody as it just trickles here the brain and just cracks its head here with madness. What's the DC? 15, 15. good sir. 15 wisdom at disadvantage. Fails. Oh. <laughs> no. What did you just do? Fuck you, <laughs> Pete. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Eater. Pete. Peter. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> All right, I'm being tired, so this is going to have to be a, a next time type of thing. So for those, I roll on a second level Disney Whisper being um, so, three sixes and a five. That is the third time in one Stop it, you guys. session. Probabilities. So what was the damage? 23? 23 damage. Y'all's okay. level damage. The Warforged Titan falls. It is dead. Oh boy. Wow. My is head there anything hurts. left here in the room? Yeah, there's still a couple Warforged. There's one My more Warforged. Warforged. I look there at the Warforged and I say to it, you better run if you don't want to end up like your brother, bitch. And I do vicious mockery. Cut. <laughs> Wisdom saving throw. Has to be to 15. Fails. <laughs> All right. Fair it enough. takes seven points of psychic damage. Wow. Like, Ugh. Seven points of psychic damage. All it, right. It scales once you hit level five. Yep. Nice. And you can move your hex, Pete. Only bonus action. Oh, okay. Yeah, only bonus action. Trust me, I want to. I want to real bad. I want to, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh fuck. Uh, We're fuck fucked. Me. Why did you Kill do that? Kill Especially now that Cat, our two biggest damage dealers, are out the door. Mm, Al's right up there. Get out of here. I'll hold the door. Get out of here, hold kid. Hold the door. You gotta just start. You gotta talk like Adam Driver. Like, Get out of here, kid. Hold the door. Shoot this hunk of junk out of the sky. Stop scrolling. <laughs> Shoot this hunk of junk out of the sky. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. That's his turn. Oh my god. <laughs> so as the Warforged Titan falls, 
where it falls, a bunch of flames begin to appear. And out of those flames steps out the chain devil. <laughs> oh boy. You sending a picture of that too? Yes, I am. Don't you worry about that. Oh boy. That is fucking amazing. I love that there was a possi- real possibility that this could not happen ever. And, and it happened, and it happened to in, in the biggest fight of the night of <laughs> this entire what? campaign so far. It's happened twice. Three times. It could have happened three, three times. Because I rolled really a... four if you would have counted now, though. Yeah. Mobby. There's your chain devil. You send that. Oh, it's so kinky. Oh, yeah. I know what he's into. Look at them thighs. God, dude, he is, like... That guy's a squat machine. That man is thick. Look, dude, Mike Tyson's got nothing on them thighs. Dude. I would not want to fight Mike Tyson. In September. he he might actually get the chance to legally kill someone. Yep. Alright, so, uh, it is the Warforged's turn... Especially against Roy Jones Jr. Oh my god. Who is also another very excellent boxer. He might actually kill Roy Jones Jr. There's a very real chance. Uh, the Warforged is going to attack the Steel Defender, since it's the closest thing. Two attacks. Uh, both are going to hit. <laughs> So the Steel Defender. Uh, Steel Defender takes 12 points of damage, so it slashes across the backside of the Steel Defender. Okay. Uh, That is the Warforge's turn. It is Al's turn. You you decide. Okay. Hannah's balancing out here for the night, guys. Okay. I'm tired. See ya. Especially since Cat's out of the picture now. That's, so. my, that's my secret, Cat. I'm always. Tired. Anna, try to get me out of there. Also, we'll catch you up to speed. Al. Yeah. Oh what? no, I've, I've been I've been texting. Have you now? Oh, oh boy. The entire time. You've been in so much shit. Uh, okay, so Al is going to. You can use the steel defender to um. To make it make it easier to get through, like I did that one time, right? Mm-hmm. And you could do the bonus action. So that the steel defender is going to move right here. Okay, so doesn't provoke attack of opportunity. Exactly. Oh. The door is still open. Door is still open. Al, do you mind if I use your steel defender as cannon fodder? Go for it. He can always make a new one. Cool. All right, Al's taking the dash action, getting the fuck out of there. 5, 10, <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30. Al's, Al's out. Done. I think it's a good move. And you also have a supreme healing potion. I would suggest when we have a break, use it. Uh, it is Alistair's turn. He is going to come up behind the Warforged. Flank it. Flank it, attack it. That's definitely going to hit. Okay. Uh, comes across the back of the Warforge and slices it across the back. That Warforge is looking really hurt. Uh, top of the round, it is Cat Benatar's Cat's turn. Gone. She's gone. Drinma, you're gone. Vishara. Vishara's taking dash action. Get the fuck out. All right, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, you're out. Mal. I'm not fighting a chain devil. Mal getting out. Is it just, it's just Mal and uh, Kavir? Yeah, and the Steel Defender. And technically, is the Steel Defender like covering for anybody else who's trying to leave? It's blocking it's the door. Blocking the Warforged. 
from attacking anyone going out the door. Mal is going to look to Kavir. I think we're done here. Leave. No. I got the door. <laughs> I got the door. Go. You're up next yeah. anyway. Well, you still can. What about you? Do this all day. Mal will bounce out. All right. 5, 10, 15, Mal's out. Is there, is there like rubble or door? So there is a door, like oh, yeah. it actual door. Oh yeah, it busted through the door. It's okay. an opening. Like it didn't collapse in and close it. It made a giant opening to where the Warforged Titan could get gotcha, in. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. She, yeah, she'll just bounce out. Mal's out. Kavir, it's your turn. You're the last one in here. Doors right, openings right there. Steel Defender, Warforge, Alistair, and the Chained Devil. How big is this opening? About ten feet wide, and thirty feet high. He busted through. Can I, as a free action, make a perception check to see if, if there's a weak point right there in? And uh, uh, the busted through doorway to see if it can be up to then collapse. Yes. Doing the D and D. D Natural twenty, buddy. Nice. Wow. From where it busted through the door, if you were to hit the right side pillar, you, with enough damage and force, you could collapse the support system and the roof down and block the entrance slash exit. All right, then. Um, I'm going to... Fuck. All right. I'm going to switch my hex over to that pillar. <laughs> Can you hex an inanimate object? Can I? Does it have to be a creature? Ooh, that's Let me, actually, I I'm actually gonna pull this up here as well. Yeah, I, I, yes, I, yes, I, it, yes, yes, it has to be a creature. It ha yeah, it has to be a creature. Okay. Because well, the pillar can't make a saving yeah. throw. Play safe. You don't know that. Unless yeah. it's a mimic. I mean, I think the Warforged is directly under it. I'm going to look over. Uh, actually, I'm going to back away here from the pillar. You're not okay. stepping out? No. Okay. How, how far back? 10 feet. Actually, no. I'm going to use my full movement. 30 feet? All 30 feet. This way or this way? Uh, The first direction. Okay. This way or Five, this way? 10, this. 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm gonna fire both Eldritch Blasts at this pillar. To okay. To seal it up. Uh, You're literally gonna trap yourself in the cathedral. Gotta make sure everyone can be able to get out of here. Oh, Kavir. Two attack rolls. Two attack rolls at advantage. Oh. Sixteen for the first one. Sixteen hits. And a twenty-two for the second one. Twenty-two hits. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Eight damage on the first one. Okay. And ten damage on the second. So you shoot off your two blasts, and the first one hits it and pierces a lot of it, and then the second one finishes it off, and you watch as uh, all of you, as you've escaped, pillar crumbles and blocks the entrance into the cathedral. (laughs) That is your turn. It is the Chain Devil's turn. It's going to take its full movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you're 10 feet. Uh, It's going to make its two two chain attacks at you. Bring it on, bitch. Um, one will definitely hit. Second one will shield. Uh, so it's a plus what? Five. Five. Plus five. So you're twenty-one until the end of my next turn. Twenty-one doesn't. Yeah, no, because it's a plus eight to hit. Yeah, so you you beat it by one. (sighs) So shield. Yeah. Is that a reaction for you? Yeah. That was my reaction, yes. And that was also my last first level spells. Okay. I will make my saving throw. I'll make my roll now. Yeah. Hey, since my my steel defender is still in there, can uh, can he's Kavir still technically control him? Even though I'm not there? No, it's it's only controlled by you, so technically it's it's in stasis now. All right, buddy. You know what you have to do. I know what I have to do, but I don't know. If, I don't know that if I have the strength to do it. Yeah. Oh no! Time, Pete. More of your percentile. <laughs> Full number. Six. <laughs> 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 oh, this is the perfect. best fucking session ever. Oh no. <laughs> Seriously, of all 100 numbers, that's the Hell one you yeah. roll. <laughs> one in 100 chance it could happen. So you watch yeah. as you do this, and the magical power within you, your blood begins to boil, and you f- almost feel a burst of arcane energy explode from you. The chain devil is no longer there. What the fuck is going on? 30 feet. 30 feet. I look over at Alistair. Wait, so so, so it's just Chain Devil? Hold on. Let me double check. Yep. We're good. So it's just the Bone Devil that disappeared. Chain Devil. Chain Devil, sorry. I look over at Alistair and I'm like, his... Gone? Is that a hit? I don't still got a warforged. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the the, the warforged. Yeah. All right. Let's fuck this thing up and let's get the hell out of here. Um, that's your turn. It's the warforged's turn. Going to attack the steel defender again with its multi attack. Um, advantage because it can't move. The steel defender? Oh, it just it just can't actually do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, both are hitting. All right, steel defender is going to take ten point. Uh, takes ten points of damage. Steel defender is looking really torn up. It's hurting. You might want to. No, that's healing here. Healing damage. Yeah, Steel Defender looks really hurt, Kavir. Um. Okay, so Al's turn. Al's out. Cat's out. Drinma's out. Vishar's out. Mal's out. Kavir. Back to Kavir. 
Oh, wait, before Kavir, it's Alistair's turn. He's going to try to finish off this Warforged to attacks. Uh, one's going to connect. You remember the connect for the Xbox 360? Hell yeah. What a, what a device. Shit. What a device. You used to be able to play fucking Skyrim with that, and you used to be able to, to, to like, yell, like, profanities yeah. at your connect, and it would work. <laughs> The best Warford. one was Ghost Recon, where you could like lay down and like pull your finger yeah. for it to be a sniper. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you watch as Alistair, or Kavir, since you're the only one there, you watch as Alistair cuts the head off of the last Warforge. That Warforge is down. It is your turn. Forge is down. Warforge is down. Kavir takes a big sigh of relief. Alistair. We've had our difference in the past. Quite recently, actually. I understand this is not where I want to be. This coup, this revolution, it's not something that I want to be a part of. Let's get out of here. And I started to be able to make my way here toward. Okay. Um, Which way? How do you want to move? As the crow flies. As the crow flies. <laughs> as a bird that's stuck in my house flies. Or as a fly that in my car <laughs> flies. Uh, as you walk 15 feet, the chained devil is going to make attack of opportunity against you. At advantage because it was invisible. I'm sorry, what? The wild magic made it the invisible. The wild magic made it invisible and you walked right across him. So he gets attack of opportunity at advantage. Oh boy. No. 18. And, and that, the end of your turn, so shield's gone, correct? Shield is completely gone, and I don't have any. Okay, so yeah, that shield, will. Well, shield also does not scale, so I cannot use. I, I actually no. I, I... Yeah. All right. So yeah, you're gonna take that. You take eight points of slashing damage, and as you walk by, you feel a chain pierce your shoulder and you are grappled. Does it become visible? Oh, it becomes visible. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, it becomes visible for sure. Yeah, it becomes visible. I kind of scream out as I am just racked with this beating of just metal here against my body. And I kind of look back and I'm like, oh, you're still here. That is your turn. It is the Chain Devil's turn. What a fucking wild session, by the way. <laughs> God damn. This is nuts. He's gonna make, yeah, he's gonna throw two more chains at you. Oh, hot. They're being grappled, they're both at advantage, right? Yes, they're both at advantage. Okay. A lot of dice. You take 23 points of slashing damage as you see two more chains from his back come out and slash you across your back. As I take that damage, <clears throat> I kind of reel back. I kind of start gritting my teeth here at it. And my eyes kind of fall down here to kind of be starting to be a bit glossed over. I am unconscious. Actually, what was the first damage? First one. 
Uh, eight. the no, the first one was nine. Okay, I am unconscious. Okay, you are unconscious. Uh, that is its turn. Oh dear. It is Alistair. Alistair's turn. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's going to use his movement to try to attack this thing and get it off of you. It's two attacks. Oh, man, he's out of Divine Smites, too. Mm-hmm. All right. Two attacks. Bo- oh, no. Both miss. He's tri- It's so wrapped around you, he's trying to break you free from its... It's chains, and it's just the the chain devil is just... First strike, he dodges to the side. The second strike, it just hits one of the chains, and the sword bounces off. That's his turn. Uh, Steel Defender can't do anything. Kavir, does saving throw, please. That's a failure. That's a failure. All right. That's a two. Oh my God. Thank God it wasn't a nat one. Although this next one might kill you. It's the chain devil's turn. He's got you and he's going to make an attack. Yep. He's get, he gets two. Both at advantage. Mm-hmm. Fear's dead. First one hits. You lose two death saving throws. Fear's dead. <clears throat> I'm dead. You're dead. Uh. And I've already used my revivify. The s- second attack will go towards Alistair. Uh, misses. Uh, Alistair's turn. Um, actually... Kavir. As the chain devil takes its third chain and is about to come down on you, how do you want to end? Is there anything you want to do before um, death takes you? Is there anything you would like to do in your last moments of consciousness? With blood. Um, As you spit up the blood and hit the chain devil, it kind of like reels back. Um, And in a language you don't understand, An infernal. It almost laughs and nods its head and takes the chain and shoves it into the side of your neck and rips across. That's it. And. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I'm dead, though. You're dead. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Something related to soul catash. Wait, saving? Saving. Six. So as that chain hits your neck and you feel that terrible pain and then nothing you feel a very cold and dark hand grab your very soul it's all right child i have another job for you and everything goes black and that is the end of kavir
Strinma. As as Strinma, Al, um, Cat Benatar, and Mal watch as Kavir had given you guys that brute of escape. On the outside of Thrain, you see about 30 to 35 arcane gates where a bunch of Carnathi undead and Warforged soldiers are coming through these gates. And Drinma, you feel something inside you and you hear Tira. Tira, Drinma. He's gone. Your friend is gone. Drinma, she's running. Why am I hearing a voice right here all of a sudden? I wasn't thinking these things. I don't know why. I, I thought that's all. Oh, that's not me thinking it. Tira, friend, what do you mean they're they're all right behind me? Kavir is gone, Drinma. Drinma stops. Dead in her tracks. N- no. They- Sharp pretty much runs into the back of Drinma. Because <laughs> she's behind Drinma. Like, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, because Drinma has the fastest walking speed. Drinma, why'd you stop? Where's Kavir? He was behind us. Mal? Mal quickly running and just Kavia said he was he he said he was just I don't know where he is he said he had the door something about holding it Bashar literally just stops fuck he got the door and stayed in. Surely, Kavir. It's not that stupid. Okay, now it seems silly when I say it out loud, but no. So she, Drinma, then just kind of stares up. They're outside, I assume, right? Or are they still? Oh yeah, you guys are out. So she's she's out there, and she goes, Tira. Tira, I think you're wrong. You're mistaken. I'm not mistaken, Drinma. He fell before me. Before Alistair. I still have the rest of them. I s- Captain still has her crew. I need to get them to safety. Looks at the group. We'll figure this out later. Let's go. It just starts. As you're rushing through train, um, you know your airship is five miles outside mm-hmm. of Flame Keep. Mm-hmm. While this assault is going on, Thrain is not losing this battle, but they're not winning. It there's a lot of paladins and templars and soldiers of the, the Silver Flame, and they're being blessed by it. They're holding back the undead. They're just having trouble with the War Forge. As you're as the group as the group is running, and the smoke and fires start to begin around different districts. You have no way out. Your ship is five miles outside of the city and you have maybe just learned that an ally has fallen. Mm. 
And that is where we're going to end tonight's session. Can Al drink the potion first? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so Al's gonna take this moment that you guys paused and are looking around and basically saying, well, fuck, I better drink this now. And so he takes down the, drinks down the potion. Okay. And it's a Supreme, so it's 10d4 plus 20. And as that is where we end the session, that is also where we end the first chapter of the story. So it's, I rolled 23, my max is 35, so I'm, I'm at max. Yeah, you're good. Nice. <laughs> There's a very, very somber tone. Closing words. With blood. With blood. I think his Kavir's last word should have been, It is Wednesday, my dudes. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. um, Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, Send Chris your emails or questions and fun jokes that you have. We will your be favorite memories of Kavir. Your favorite memories of Kavir. Remember the time he almost died? That was great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> yeah, remember the time in session, what, two? Two or three. Three? Yeah. When he got stabbed by the assassin and almost died. So that is where we end the session and also this first chapter in the story. Um, thank you to Dice NV. Um, and we will see you all next week. Is it Wednesday, my dudes? With blood. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.